Hello, and welcome to Technocracy Zero Sum. It is yet another first Sunday of the month, and I am very excited to be here with my wonderful players to play some more Technocracy and see what horrors they can get themselves into. Um, so, hi, I'm Jen. I am the storyteller for this game, and I use she, her pronouns. Um, and let's do some quick introductions, uh, starting with Kelly. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly. Uh, I'm not the, the storyteller this time, which is always handy. Uh, Nolan Westcroft, and I, not West Church, I always think West Church for some reason, I named the damn character. Uh, and I, you both use he and him, we're excited to be here tonight, although him less than me. Because I can <laughs> shut this off at the end of the night, and he's stuck in this damn sub. Uh, Nolan, I actually don't remember what his star sign is, but uh, knowing it's it's probably a weird one. I gotta look that up. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up while everybody else is going. But anyway, that's me. Happy to be here. Uh, I am uh, a little out of it, but uh, that's perfect for this character. Indeed it is. And moving on to Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I'm playing uh, Sophia Smith, our damage control pro progenitor who also uses she, her pronouns. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little fried from my weekend. The, it was yeah. a good weekend, but it was. We I'm were... really fucking exhausted though. And yeah, Sophia's not in shit of her own making. I feel like this is shit of Jen's making. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Sophia's uh, pretty capable, and I have to throw her in, you know, other shit. But then there's Nolan, so he helps. <laughs> uh, and down to Amy. Oh, hello. That is me. Hi, I am Amy. My pronouns are she, her, and they, them. And I am playing, uh, what's her last name again? Heather Anderson, the uh, Void Engineer of the Earth Frontier Division. And you know what? This is fine. Everything is fine. She well, also uses she, her, or they, them. Nice. And last but certainly not least, Robin. Hi, I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns. And so does uh, Tegan Warner, who, but I think uh, Tegan's, well, also uses they them uh so she she goes by she her or they them and um she is our iteration x biomechanic of the group and uh looking forward to flexing out some some uh enlightenment roles with this character this episode because teens Indeed. She's she's had an experience and she's, <laughs> she's ready had an to... experience, yes. And you can catch that experience on uh the Paradox Paradox podcast episode 4.5, uh, to replace the episode five that wasn't because audio issues, but the new episode five should be out shortly, which is great. Um yeah, and yeah, uh several of us uh just had a very exhausting weekend, so we're very tired, um, but yeah, we're here. The entire and production I'm team excited. went on a on a tech hunt for the weekend, which was very not the almost. entire production. Almost. Sorry, that's team. true. That's true. We we, uh, yeah. we didn't have Krista and we didn't have you, so like yeah, ha half plus one of the production team. Yeah, Good point. yeah, yeah. So we we bought some new new tech. None of us have set any of that new tech up because we only got home today. So, <laughs> but it all fit in my car, which was very exciting. That was very very exciting. Right. Yeah. Without checking. Um, okay. So we are good, but tired. Were you ready to fuck this shit up? Let's do it. Cool. Um, I would like to put out a, uh, to state a quick content warning for uh, themes of horror, sexuality, and violence uh, in tonight's game. Um, and I would like to reiterate that the players and I have talked about boundaries and hard limits outside of game so um and we have a system where we can put an x in our private chat if they would like me to stop a scene fade to black um and so if someone preferably not the person who did it but uh if i don't notice it someone could just let me know within like you know 10 20 seconds of it coming in the chat that would be great um and as per usual uh with you know mage and Kelly games, Kelly's games, uh, if you put at least two X's in two separate lines, so, you know, we know it's not a mistake. That'd be great. I love you all, and I do not apologize for this. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if I love you right now, Jen. <laughs> but I probably um, will after anyway. Christine, I like, love your mug. Thank you. I kind of felt it fit the theme of tonight because Jen's been threatening all weekend. <laughs> I just want you to feel safe and and not I I don't want your characters to feel safe. I want you to feel safe. <laughs> so as long as you feel safe, that's great. No, we Seriously, the players feel safe. Fuck my character Tegan. up. <laughs> Tegan does not feel safe. Well, Tegan good actually good. feels pretty good, I think, right now. I mean, yeah, yeah, fair. Um, in that case, let us do a quick recap since it's been a month. So, last time on Zero Sum, we learned that the crew, or we learned what the crew was up to while Heather was repairing the uh, wonder device thing that you all found. Um, Sophia, you spent some time in the infirmary and realized that your enlightened science actually worked better in that space than it had during the rest of the ship. And you were able to uh, access that that uh, laboratory background, which is fantastic. And using that knowledge, you worked on healing the rest of the crew, which is great um, because now I get to fuck them up again. Uh, <laughs> um Nolan, you went to check on Mateo and in mm -hmm. doing so managed to swap your consciousnesses. Um, you did work out how to get back, but that was not the end of Nolan's no good, very bad day as he was left, left on watch and discovered that he had been locked out of certain controls. You can't do that to His me. curiosity got the better of him and he tried to bypass Tegan's security. <laughs> uh, failing that the first time, uh, you continued your scans outside and when you actually looked out there yourself, you found a familiar face and voice. Um, after a brief conversation with Michaela, uh, your wife, uh, the entity, or whatever it was, vanished. No one became convinced that the ship's sensors could find her and then continued to hack his way back into the system by physically hacking into the system <laughs> um, and unintentionally turning off the life support as you desperately searched for her. With the alarms going off, the rest of the crew rushed to the bridge to find an unconscious Nolan, and after repairing the damage he had done and rousing him and turning life support back on, um, you all had a discussion about what he saw, and Tegan, you also mentioned a radio signal that you'd received um, that listed an address where Nolan used to live way back in 2002. Uh, you all discussed the potential of time travel. Well, Heather checked the sensors and discovered a huge energy signature was getting closer. Nolan went to go sleep since he had been on watch uh, all evening, and Sophia went to go check on Mateo and found a hit mark from the deep sea exploration zone instead. And this is where we're going to start. So if everyone can check whether they have um, any active effects up, let me know those. Sophia, I know you have your pause taser out and you're being particularly stealthy. But if anybody has anything else, that'd be great. I believe Tegan had an effect to uh, basically it was a a monitoring on Nolan. So Tegan has that up. Right. Yes. So she can cool. check on him during the night. Yes. But I had a mind sure shield up. Soaking ag ended. Hmm. Because it was for a mm. day, and we then slept, so it continued for the yes. first several sessions. But I think it's done now. It has no ended now. Room. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shite. So I had two, oh, that's on episode one, so that's probably not still up. Um, yeah, I don't, I think I'm good, actually. I will release okay. all of my effects if, if I have not already. Yeah, and I don't think Sounds Heather good. had anything active. Excellent. Good to know. Um, and if everyone could just roll me initiative right now so that uh, we know where everybody stands. All right, one sec. Uh, it is Dex and Wits, right? That yeah. you um, like add the number. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that is probably not improvisational. So, yeah, I was gonna say hand eye probably doesn't apply. Ken's re roll on initiative, right? If you have a specialty. If you have Crap. a specialty. Nope, yeah. okay, never mind. I have to do math again. Whoops. Okay, no worries. Christine, what is your. Uh, Dex plus wits. Uh, seven. Okay, cool. That's um, the worst question to hear ever. Excellent. So, we're just gonna 
make sure I have these all in order. Um, for the first little while, it will likely be um, just Sophia to start, um, and then as people kind of become aware, they can trip in. Oh, I also have to roll Mateo's. Let me not forget that, because he's there. Ooh, much better. Uh, Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So, Sophia, you are standing outside of the infirmary and you had you had heard the sound of two people talking as you approached. Uh, one voice you recognized as Mateo, and the other voice I don't believe you recognized, but when you managed to sneak close enough to kind of look in, you did see um, the shape of the one of the people who had met you at the deep sea exploration zone, who you believed uh, to be a hit mark. At. Um, you were very particular about how you were approaching, so your shadow didn't cast across the door, the light from the door, and you have your taser out. Um, so I am going, until you do something, um, we're not going to necessarily move through initiative because he's just kind of there with, with Mateo. He does have Mateo held, mm -hmm. um, and Mateo is... Uh, whimpering a little, very scared, um, kind of like, don't hurt me, sort of behavior, so. Okay. What does Sophia do? What do I know about the hit marks? Um, you know that they are, uh, they're, the program was stopped for a little while, so there haven't been many in, um, production, uh, or in there haven't been many out and about uh, recently, but you've been around long enough that you know the stories of hit marks, which were basically they're killing machines. They're they're um, cyborg android esque. Um, so they're they're Terminator like, is okay. how we'll describe that. Um, they probably have multiple weapons that you're not entirely aware of, and. Um, Tegan would probably know more about, about them. Okay. I think... Because uh, I think my taser would basically just work as a taser in this case. Only. Yeah. Because the big point of it is it cuts off the source of power, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. which forces a werewolf into like its hominid form. Yes. Which I don't think... But it does do, do electrocution. Thing, but it will still electrocute. Yes. Which might help against a hit mark considering electrical stuff in them as well yep. um however I think Sophia's just going to listen and okay. see if we can figure out is this just something that turned on how did he get on what does he want mm -hmm. is he infested okay what's going um, on just a yeah. little a few, like only a minute or two Okay. Um, I will say that uh, you're fairly certain if you hit him with the taser while he's holding Mateo, Mateo will also be electrocuted. So I can probably making, bring him back. I was going to say, uh, like, Sophia can make the decision. I just want to make sure that you, the player, are aware of this. <laughs> My thought is that if it seems like it's a big plot, Honestly, I don't think Mateo's that high in her list of, like, must look after. He's expendable yeah. to in her mind, probably. Mm -hmm. So I think her first thought would potentially be how bad is the issue? If it's very bad and she probably needs backup, she's gonna run to that communication device and just immediately go, hit mark on board infirmary, or something like that. Cool, cool. And, um, but if she yeah. thinks she can corral it and it's not infested she mm -hmm. might try and just taser it see if she can take it down and then call the others okay um give me a perception and alertness 
Okay, so that is that. Uh, difficulty six. Uh, four successes. Okay. Um, you hear... So, as you kind of looked in, um, you did notice that there was... You know how when you come in from the cold and then there's like your breath kind of, um, or like when you go out into the cold, your breath kind of, uh, like fogs, um, there's like this weird steaminess coming off of him, like he was very cold and now is in somewhere warm. Like he clung to the outside? Yes. And you hear him... Um, growl under kind of really quietly. He is trying to be stealthy. Um, so he's not like uh, blasting his way through here. But he just goes, where are the others? And Matthias like, I don't know. I, I don't know where they where they all went. Most of them were sleeping, I think. And um, you hear some rummaging and if you look in, um, Mark seems to be looking through stuff that you recently just organized. You know what? I was super stealthy. I'm going to sneak mm-hmm. back to the communication hub. Okay. What I'm going to do there is not going to be stealthy. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to sneak back there so that he hopefully cool. doesn't detect me before I can actually start the message. Okay. Because I'm going to um, loudspeaker it across the whole freaking ship. Fair enough, yeah. Uh... Yeah, you rolled incredibly well for stealth. The or Seems did you roll? did very well. Yeah, you know, roll, roll me, roll me stealth just for the going back, and I'll just roll his his okay, perception. Okay, so that would be stealth and dex. Ah, uh, yes, please. And uh, we'll do difficulty six, and then we'll just uh, contested successes. Three, three successes. Um, you stealth back, you're very quiet. And you make it to the loudspeaker or to the communication device with nothing seeming to come from that room. All right, she's gonna send the message out loud. And I don't know if there's an alarm she can trigger on there or not. Uh, yeah, sure. There's an alarm. There's there's alarms all over this ship, so I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if there'd be one in the in the like actual loudspeaker. So, all right. <laughs> she's gonna do that then. Cool. You, and if it comes for um, her, she's gonna try and hit it with the taser. Nice. Um, you keep your your attention focused on the infirmary and. Um, hit the loudspeaker, it crackles to life. Uh, what do you say? Hit Mark in the infirmary. Uh, the rest of you hear Keegan, that blasted. Keegan, wake the <laughs> <laughs> Hear that blasted all over the ship, and followed by an alarm that is loud and blaring. And we are going to enter initiative <laughs> now that we are here. Um, and that will be Tegan up first. <laughs> Tegan's going. What? Uh, and I think and... Sophia's just going to keep repeating that chain of sentences until she can't. Okay. Uh, I think Tegan's going to. Uh, she's going to uh, head to the infirmary. Okay. It's going to take you a couple of rounds to get there, but... Yeah. Uh, um, while she's going, can I make some sort of, like, roll to remember the fact, like, she's worked with Hekmars, but maybe, like, re-remember, like, what's probably, the, like, the best spots to, like, control, like, if she wants to try and take away power, give too much power, is on the way there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um... And as a uh, 
as a storyteller to a player, I will remind you, you do have data and stuff, which oh, right. could potentially mean you don't have to ru rush to the infirmary. Tegan heading there immediately does make sense. If she would yep. like to, on the way, think of something else, also possible. Right. Oh, I totally forgot. Um. So, what's the thing that I have? Oh, did I write it down? Um, I would like to teleport to the infirmary, if I can. Okay, yeah. Um, let's see here. You've got... You've got data three, correct? Mm-hmm. And how would Tegan like to try and do that? Um, where I, I knew I, I read it in the books that that is something you can do mm -hmm. with. I think she's going to try and basically download herself into the nearest like computer port and then re upload in the infirmary. Fantastic. Uh, give me an enlightenment roll. Um, and we're gonna say that is uh, a difficulty of seven. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Have fun, Jen. Uh -huh. I botched. Ooh, how fun. fun. How that fun. sounds great. Okay, I botched cool. my enlightenment <laughs> roll. I rolled a one, a five, a two, and a three. Enjoy space. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Yep. Um, all right. Tegan, you... This is your episode for watching. <laughs> my episode. <laughs> you rush to a computer terminal and um, code just starts spilling from your fingers into into the terminal um, and you're like okay if I just if I if I co-locate you know my my own energy signature with the energy signatures in the infirmary I can and as you let it go um, we are going to just check here. How much uh, paradox do you currently have? Three. Cool. cool. That is. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. You let it go, and you feel the very atoms in your body just kind of separate, and and. Mm -hmm. You've probably pulled something like this before, so that's not an unfamiliar feeling. It's like it's like a uh, transporter in Star Trek, where yeah, you know you exactly. Yeah, your your atoms. We just come made it actually and... real. <laughs> we just actually were able to do it. <laughs> exactly, your atoms come apart and you flow into the computer, but you don't come out. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry guys. Most capable, a forces fighter for hit marks stuck in the computer. This is great. And, Don't uh, worry, guys. Ooh. I have a plan to defeat this hit mark. Sophia has, <laughs> or Tegan has left the server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tegan's like, no, I'm out. Peace. I'm, I'm going to go chill with Kibo. <laughs> and um, we will come back to where you are in a moment. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Mateo is next because he wrote stupid well. Um, and what's he going to do? He is. Does he have any. Oh, damn. Mateo grew a spine. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, 
Sophia, you just hear a um, a loud clatter come from the infirmary, um, and a a small uh, kind of grunt that it, it just comes in like in the in the middle of those alarms. So it's like as it gets quiet and you're about to speak, you hear that, and then you continue your line and it moves on from there. Um, da, da, da. It is Nolan's turn. Mm. <laughs> he just went to sleep. Siri, I can't. Come on, guys. I just want a, a, a nap. Okay. Okay. Why is there a hit mark in the medical bay? They don't have organs. Do they have organs? I should probably. Yeah. Poop. All right, he's gonna run out and try and like try to check on it. So it's probably his turn is just like running down the hallway. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're a bit closer than the bridge is, so um, you'll actually show up uh, next next round. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. It is the hit marks turn because he got the same as Sophia, but a, it has a slightly better mod. Unfortunately. <laughs> um. And um, Nolan's going to grab one thing and stuff it in his jacket before he leaves his uh, his room, though. And it's the thing okay. in my hand. Okay, cool. Um, Mark is going to lash out at Mateo for just elbowing him in the gut um, and possibly throw him across the room. So we're going to see. Uh, Dex and Brawl. Much more dice after that. Oh, good job. Uh, yeah, Sophia, a another loud crash, um, or a much louder crash, I should say, um, comes from the infirmary, um, and the sound of a body hitting the wall. Um, and it's your turn. Okay, I am going to, I think, stop with the announcement system. Mm -hmm. Are there any rooms nearby? Um, Very much. yeah, like, there are layout. I want to try and figure out what I have for cover. Yeah, so basically, um, you're kind of in a in one of like the narrow sub like hallways, um, and at the end of the hall, which isn't super far away because the infirmary is kind of near the end of the hall. Um, there is uh, like it opens up a bit more, but. Um, the infirmary is on your left, and then there are a couple of rooms, and they're they're just like storage rooms or possibly bunk rooms that get converted into storage rooms when they don't need to, to fill them, that sort of thing. Um, and most of the doors are closed, but you are, you know, welcome to open them. Um, they're not locked, so um, you can definitely find cover in there. There's, uh, and then behind you, um, the hallway uh, continues on a little bit, and you can see Nolan like running down the hallway towards you. Okay. <laughs> so I guess question then: What I at the time last time I was making mm -hmm. all those little like pre-made effects with my potions, etc. Mm -hmm. um, potions said in a very derogatory tone of voice, and they're chemical mixtures. Mm -hmm. um, did I manage to make anything to help me put up that egg soak again real quick? Like just a hypodermic. Yeah, I feel like you absolutely would have made that one of your priorities, um, given, uh, you know, the how fast it turned to a combat at the underwater base. And you're just like, mm, it's good to have this just ready to go. <laughs> All right. I would like to put up my egg soak again then. Great. Um, so roll me your enlightenment um just to make sure that everything goes according to plan okay. uh difficulty of uh six on this one sweet that's three successes then excellent and i think she's gonna have to like pull aside her black suit a little bit to be able to stab herself <laughs> yeah absolutely um but you stab yourself, you uh, inject whatever that compound is. It's 
Works great, though. Um, immediately you feel yourself just get a little bit... It's, it's like your skin thickens, but there's no yeah, visible... Just a slight, like, tightening sensation, yeah. almost, as it just gets a little thicker. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, yeah. And then otherwise, she's going to stab herself with that, make sure the, the taser is ready, and try and do that kind of run slide into the open doorway, so that she's not going into the room, but she's going across it. Absolutely. Um, as your so your your goal is to end up on the other side of the door, kind of like kind like of across. Slide into view, essentially. She's not going to go right past, but she's ready with a push off foot to like keep going if need be. Okay, cool. And um, I think she's going to have it leveled yeah. as kind of what do you want <laughs> type demand. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, as you slide into view across this doorway, the um, you can see into the infirmary, your infirmary. Um, the hit mark is there and has uh, shoved Mateo, just, you know, basically thrown him into into the wall. Great, um, he's out of the way. <laughs> right. Um, and is like staring at Mateo until he hears you come into view and he just turns and there's just this look of dead, like dead eyes um, Terminator style um, as he looks at you, but his, his t turn isn't up yet so uh, you're there and you're in a bit of a standoff and yeah. it's Heather's turn and Heather, I'm assuming is in her like, bunk area because mm -hmm. I think she had been watching Dragon Ball with Kibo or something. Mm -hmm. Next time right. on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Um and actually as you, as you're watching the the alarms go, um and you blink and you're like, what hit mark in the infirmary? That that's weird. And you look back down and you see Kibo on your screen and you, Kibo's go, Oh, we have a visitor and Tegan appears. <laughs> <laughs> just in the Dragon Ball Z scene <laughs> um you're not affected by the scene Tegan you're just there and you're like what what <laughs> uh, is she supposed to be there can I hear Heather you can hear yep <laughs> Um, um, I fucked up, Heather. I fucked up real bad. Uh, but, um, okay, uh, hmm, that's unusual. Mm. Here, one moment. And Heather's going to pause the video. It's gonna, like, cool. just, like, kind of squint just to see, like, whether or not, uh, Tegan also freezes or is free to move around. Tegan is free to move around. She does not freeze. Okay. That is handy. It's like she's superimposed onto the scene like Kibo is. Yeah. Excellent. Um, this is very strange. Mm-hmm. Um, hold that thought. And Heather's going to get up, go to the communications device, and is going to say, <laughs> why is there a hit mark in the medical bay? And that is all. That's all she's doing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Yeah, you do that, and uh, we'll come back around to Tegan, who now is in Heather's computer or tablet, and uh, Kibo is rubbing against your legs uh, kind of affectionately. Like, oh, hey, you came to visit. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hi, Kibo. And uh, Heather will, or Heather, <laughs> Tegan will, will uh, scratch Kibo back. Um, do you know how to get out? If I knew how to get out, do you think I'd still be here? That's very true. Um, can I... Do I have the ability to jump to the infirmary, Kubo? Do you know? Do you have access to just, like, go anywhere in the ship you want? I can. Um, but nobody's come to visit me, so I don't know if you can. All right. This has been a really nice chat, and you know what? 
I can try and figure out how to do this on purpose next time, but yeah. I need to go see if my friend, you know, my co-workers, friends, I don't know what we are anymore. Um, we've certainly come close in the s- submarine. Uh, and then Tegan's gonna try and, and finish finish uh, <laughs> what she wanted to do and try and pop out of the infirmary again. <laughs> gonna try and cool 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 cool. run around the ship um yeah so backlash is a funny thing and i'm going to let you roll yep but it is going to be at this point at least during the fight difficulty Mm -hmm. nine okay but you are welcome to make the roll i We'll try and make the rolls. It just my enlightenment. Just your enlightenment. Yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to spend willpower? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna spend a willpower to not botch. Um, okay, that's probably wise. Know, that's probably wise. I was, it's funny. I was debating about spending willpower the last time, and I'm like, nah. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. That there's one ten. And then that's four. Okay, so two and successes. Ten, and tens do explode on magic. Yes, so that's two yeah. successes. Fantastic. Okay. Um, it's going to take you the full round. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so next round, you will... Potentially come out in the infirmary. We're going to see what's happening in the infirmary first. <laughs> yeah. Because who knows? Uh, uh, Mateo is going to um, curl into a ball because uh, hitting a wall is not a lot of fun. Um, Nolan. Okay. So uh, does he make it to the door at this point and see what's going on? You, you've made it up, up, up to um, to Sophia, who is or as close as you want to Sophia, who has slid in front of the door and is hey, like in a in a staring contest with something in there. Something. What someone. a miss! And he'll kind of like peek around the door frame. What does he see? And he sees. Yeah, you see um, what looks like a human, a very human human, uh, unsettlingly human, um, and is one of the people, the male, who greeted you at the Deep Sea Exploration, ex- exploration Zone. Um, and uh, he's currently having a staring contest with Sophia. Um, and you're pretty sure this is... You've seen this version of hit marks, so you're pretty sure it's a, a Mark 10. Oh, that's not probably good. Uh, that's the invisible soldier variety. Uh, great. Great, 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 great. Sophia? You, uh, you got this? Maybe? Did it just hurt my tail? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, buddy. I don't want to. I don't. I didn't want to break it to you this way. But my friend here, well, he just said your mother was a toaster. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you're you're uh, using he some of the in here. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Because I'm using a ability enhancing magic. To lower my difficulty for next round. So cool. I would like to use a manipulation and subterfuge. Okay. On this. Um, cool. So uh, what's my difficulty and does emotional appeal apply? Because uh, I'm trying to piss him off. Fair. Um, duh, duh, duh. I'm assuming you were just looking up... Um, uh, ability enhanced magic. So, do you Absolutely. know if there's anything specific that it? Uh, it takes a round for... before uh, okay. before you can use it. Uh, basically, every success I get lowers my difficulty by, by a max of th- 
well, by one to a max of three. Next round. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to say hit mark. They don't really have a ton of emotions, um, but anger is one of them, sort of weirdly. Um, Let's say difficulty of seven. Okay. Um, And at first you don't get his attention until like the very end of that that statement, so. Okay. And do emotional appeals work? Uh, no. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I rolled three successes. Uh, seven, seven, okay. eight. So he's so, just going to, yeah. Yeah. Difficult, or lower the difficulty, maximum of, of three. Um, he's staring at Sophia, and then you squeak that, and his gaze just very quietly just shifts to you. I didn't say he did. Um... And yeah, that's your turn. That's my turn. God, I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, well, hopefully um, it worked because it, it is the hit marks turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. So you just uh, got his attention and he hasn't really seen much out of Sophia except for <clears throat> um, that that slide and whatnot. So. He's not really thinking that she is, you know, the the more dangerous target, which is his mistake. But <laughs> Nolan definitely is using ability enhancing something, and it might just be distraction. Um, you you don't know how dangerous this guy is. Yeah, fair. Like this, he's barely this. even visible due to my green screen. He's that potent. Yeah. He's a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> My dice don't like you, Kelly. Um, I would like to use my reflexive dodge. <laughs> yeah, you you would. You would like to use your reflexive dodge. Please do. Okay, let me just check my athletic score, and uh, oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a zero. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's a, that's an eight. I have one success to dodge out of the way. Fantastic. Um, he had eight successes to hit you. <laughs> Not the duck. <laughs> Not that's the fair. duck. To hit the All one right. holding the duck. All right. So strength uh, plus strength plus six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Which is no, at least I get I get a soak. You, you do, you do get to soak. Um, this is bashing, and uh, luckily uh, I do have to roll uh, damage, uh, which is a fun time. Yeah. Uh, well, if I soaked anything, that would be great. <laughs> but in that, so that's a four and a five. What the fuck, dice? Uh, Why didn't you dodge? Because it's duck. I'm not duck dodgers. Yeah. Um, okay, this is one thing that, that is fun with this system. Um, <laughs> you you go to dodge, and um, you don't manage to dodge out of, the way, out of the way, but because of what I rolled on damage... <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna let Sophia react here Wait, because I rolled what? zero successes on damage. <laughs> uh, well, she's gonna react by sh shooting the taser. And that's what I figured you were going to do. And since it what? is your turn next, please feel free to shoot the taser. Right. So I, I does, he, so. does he just like punch me real well, but I'm just at the edge of his reach or something? Or like we're gonna see what happens with the taser in a moment. Okay. So if he's touching you, you might also get tasered. <laughs> also true. Yeah, he, maybe. maybe he did hit you, so Fair, I'll take that. Yeah, right. Sophia will fix you afterwards. <laughs> um She's okay, so relatively good about cleaning up after herself. Yeah. I believe for the taser, you have to roll 
Uh, actually, it's like you have to roll its enlightenment to do the the main thing. Yeah, so it's an so enlightenment I think it's... five. Weapon. Yeah, That's but because it's also it on here. Yeah. Um, this device mm -hmm. uses a dimensional yeah. science three forces three life four prime to effect to force the target shapeshifter. Blah blah blah. Uh, subjecting mm -hmm. the target to electrocution as described in Mage 20, page 438, 439. Which I looked up, yeah. <laughs> I knew this was happening, so... Um... So I think you roll It's Enlightenment, um, and then that those successes um, are going to go into uh, electrocution uh, rather than its main effect. Okay, sounds good. Um, and we're going to go otherwise, with... If used to answer materialized spirit, the spirit simply suffers ag. Yeah, this Equals is not spirit. This device's activation roll. So and yeah, so... I mean, we're just doing electrocution. That's the only thing that would actually... Yeah. So I roll and five dice then? Roll five dice, and um, it will explode tens because it is technically an enlightenment roll. Okay. And, you know, a taser is built for this one thing, so it does it real well. What's the difficulty? Uh, we're gonna go six on this one. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, that ended the rolling spree. Seven. Cool. Um is going to take that much. There's the thing here. Uh, and then we're going to do he has soak. Um, so he takes, he does, uh, so you make contact, he does make, um, or he does take some damage and is, and seizes up, which is why he can't quite hit Nolan with all of the force. Um, however, it does, he does manage to touch Nolan. Um, so Nolan is, uh, also taking that in bashing damage. <laughs> But but can soak. You can roll another soak roll for this. I will. How many? This total? is bashing. It's seven total. Do ones take away on soak rolls? Um. No, because I didn't do it on his. So uh, <laughs> we'll say and, ones are fine. And uh, did my, is my ag healed? I can't remember. Uh, did Sophia heal Nolan's ag? I, I know, I know she healed, healed Heather and Tegan. I... How much did you have? Because I Just thought one. I, I may have left the one to finish healing because you were we were going to sleep. Right, because you were gonna you were gonna sleep. That was the thing. Okay, it would have so, healed if you slept. Then I rolled an eight, so I take how many points of bashing? <laughs> take six points of bashing. <laughs> cool, I'm in cap. <laughs> So, um, the, the, the hit mark, um, swings for Nolan, um, gets hit by this taser and seizes up, but, um, his arm just brushes against Nolan, who, uh, you can see the electricity move through the hit mark as he seizes through his arm and into Nolan, and Nolan oh, flies back against the wall and slumps down, um, and is, uh, <laughs> Is in. You're 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 in cap, so you're unconscious, or uh, we'll see at the beginning of my turn if I spend a willpower point. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, but the taser is still connected to the um, to the hit mark, and so long as you keep going with it, I there's no real rules for the there's rules for if you keep in contact with the electrocution. Um, but because this is a device, there's no real rules for like, oh yeah, you use it more than, or like you keep using it on a person to electrocute them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, 
So uh, I might be, you know, making up some rules on the fly here for that. But point is, you got him this first time. Um, I lost my initiative. Where'd it go? There it is. Uh, and we are on to Heather, who said something over the comms unit and did not get a response. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so won't get a response. Go back to the tablet. We'll see that I guess Tegan is no longer there. Yeah. Yeah, she's no longer there. That's probably for the best. And is going to um, start heading down towards the med bay. Um, okay. Is there anything that she in particular knows about hit marks? Probably not. Those are very much an end view thing, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, you can... Um, for you, because of your history, I'm going to make you roll like... Um, da -da. Intelligence and let's say like politics, if you have it, just for like mm, technocracy do not have politics. stuff. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you roll just straight intelligence for like remembering. Sure. Um, I'm guessing my specialization in uh, intelligence does not apply. It's creative. No. Not in this case. Cool. What's my difficulty? Uh, we're gonna say eight. That is a single success. Okay. You know hit marks exist. You know they are terrifying. Do I know if what they are like? If they are, like, anything about what they're made of? Like that that they're like humans um, or? You I guess know I wanna... that. Like, do I know they're cyborg type creatures? You know that it can be really hard. The reason the technocracy uses the, uses them against reality deviants and mages in particular is that they often are built or were built with um, uh, the ability to counter magic. Mm. I mean, you do science, so that shouldn't be a problem, but. Yeah. But they might be built to deal with some of our extraordinary fancy science um it's possible people go rogue okay there well, aren't really a lot of stories about hit marks going against technocracy so fair but last we also don't know of any that have been impacted by threat null or whatever this is i don't think so that's concerning um Okay, so this is a healthy dose of caution, um, but she will make her way down to the med bay and we'll just kind of start trying to come up with a plan. Um, I don't know what the plan is yet. That Excellent. Either. Um, excuse me. You, uh, you will get there uh, next round because you are also relatively close. Um, and actually, as you kind of come out into the hallway and, and make your way into the hallway where this is happening, um, you do see Sophia um, and, and hear like a crackling noise above and beyond the alarm um, and uh, see Nolan slumped down against the wall. <laughs> so. Duly noted. Yeah. Uh, Tegan. Hey. Hi. <laughs> um, Where in the ship is Tegan? <laughs> is the question. Is the question. Um, you got two successes, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Tegan mm -hmm. arrives. In the, in the infirmary's computer. Hmm. So you are in the room, mm -hmm. but have not exited the computer. Okay. Hmm. Can I... <laughs> so the taser is still connected to the hit mark. Yes. Can I use correspondence on forces in the computers to use my arc rote. You can. Yay. <laughs> okay. You are going to uh, roll me enlightenment for that. 
And you're Great. in the computer, so yeah. I'm going to decrease the difficulty on that for you. <laughs> um, so we're we're gonna call that that's that's what correspondence or data uh, two forces two, if I remember correctly, yep. something like that. Yep. yep. Excellent. Um, yeah, you're gonna be at difficulty of four. So roll me your enlightenment. Cool. Okay, okay. Three successes. Excellent. Um, you basically um, manipulate some code in the computer to start it. Uh, the, the terminal in this room um, starts emitting some, some sparks that then the taser kind of connects onto and um, so you're, you know, pulling, pulling the forces from the computer into, into mm -hmm. um, the hit mark, um, and uh, you are going to take three points of bashing as oh, it, um, as you are connected with the computer, and mm, that's true. I'm. I have. I don't know if this. Mm -hmm counts but i do have um second skin which does give me armor rating for things like electrocution it so will not for this okay because i'm yeah. in the computer because <laughs> yeah. you're okay, cool. in the computer it is Fair. not going through your second just... skin <laughs> yeah that's true that's true i was just like i appreciate I like, it though <laughs> i wonder if this will work but three bashing i no. think it doesn't feel i it. mean yeah you, do, you don't feel it um but you you feel like you're you're insensate to pain so you do feel this kind of prickling and you're yeah. like i've never done this from this position so weird. this is weird but it's probably normal right yeah it's probably fine yeah. it's probably fine um and then uh he's gonna roll his um yeah no that's that's great uh, that, and then we can do that. You're just gonna hear from the computer. So I took the short route, but it looks like it's the long route. Um, I'll be with you in a moment, but uh, enjoy, enjoy Tegan 9000. <laughs> um, that voice kind of comes out of the computer. Um, yep. and I mean, he's still being electrocuted, so you can't really. Uh, tell if what you did did anything, but there you go. Mm -hmm. um, Mateo kind of sits up, but scoots kind of back into a corner because he's kind of like, oh, there's just a lot of electricity in this room and uh, that's not safe. So I'm going to be as far from that as possible. Um, and that is Mateo's turn. Um, Nolan is slumped on the ground. Is this thing still up? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna spend a willpower. Okay. And, okay, I'm gonna spend a willpower to ignore, to ignore being in-capped. Yep. <laughs> I didn't say it. He did. And I'm gonna point at the duck and he's gonna throw it as hard as he can with um, uh, mine three uh, aggression transfer. Okay, cool. Uh, so what is what is his willpower rating? That is my magic difficulty. Minus three. Um, hold on one second. Oh wait, those rules are way back there. You're gonna botch your counter magic. I don't even have to roll my thing. We're gonna see. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, willpower is six. So my difficulty is three. I like these odds. Yeah, I know. <gasps> That's four successes. I got three on counter magic. So. It hey, you that get means a that it, la it lasts for a yeah. round. So he's gonna go. It 
It wasn't yep. me. It was him. Eh. And he's going to just throw it down the hall with the last of his strength and, and like pass out. Excellent. So Excellent. basically it's just going to make him put, t- I'm just aiming all of his aggression at the squeaky toy. Okay. Fantastic. Um, and then it is his turn. Um, and I'm going to see. I'm going to see if he can just do this. Uh, yeah, okay. He's going to. He is going to spend a willpower. Um to move. He's still being electrocuted, but he is moving against it. Um, But he is going after the duck. (laughs) And so he um, kind of, you can see the muscles tense and and release as he forces one foot in front of the other, and he's going to be moving slower than he would normally, um, but he does kind of push past Sophia and um, uh, pulls out um, pulls out a a gun and starts shooting it at the duck down the hallway. <laughs> this is all I wanted. So we're gonna do this, and we're just gonna see how how damaged the duck is. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, that's slightly better. Uh, and then close to. Um, the duck doesn't have any armor, so the duck takes um, five points of lethal damage. And, you soak? <laughs> um, no, but the sub does. Okay. <laughs> or the ship does. That's, that's probably preferable in the long run. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it can soak a lot, so... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cocked. Um, yeah, uh, bullets start to ping down the hallway, um, and Heather, because you're down the hallway, or actually, d- Nolan, did you throw it towards Heather coming down the hall, or the other way? The, the, which the, is em- the empty direction. The empty direction, which isn't very far, like, there isn't much hallway that way, but there also isn't a Heather, so let's it, go with that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go you with that. you do see Heather, her bright pink hair coming down the hall, so. Yeah, I don't um, want her to get shot. So let's, let's yeah. do the other. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there are bullets kind of pinging down that side of, of the hallway. Um, and uh, it is Sophia's turn. If you continue to hold on to the electrocution, um, he will take, uh, depending on soak, uh, several more bashing this round. Just like without you having to roll, it just happens. Is there any chance that I can kind of hold on to it and just kind of use half my attention on that and half to like stab Nolan with a healing effect? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. uh, I'm. I'm just gonna call the taser an object interaction basically at this point. Um, so you're so just you're just it's holding it. Attached. It's... Yeah, it's already done. You're just basically have your finger on the button and then you can do whatever you want with your. Well, and I think action. since Nolan got flung out across the hallway he's Mm -hmm. literally like right there yeah he's right there he didn't move very much i think she's just gonna kind of hold it and crouch and pull out another um vial from a pocket and i think she's gonna have to snap it into like a delivery systems i.e a needle yeah and uh stab nolan with it sounds good um and that'll be the, a light three effect of some sort to yeah. heal him. Um, the hit mark is still up despite the electricity still coursing through him. Actually, I'm going to do a quick little... Yeah, okay. I am. I wish I rolled this well on a normal basis. Um, yeah. That would be great. <laughs> Been there. Right. Um, so, Sophia, you can do your life three. We are going to call it... Um, uh, oh, and um, Nolan takes uh, one point of paradox for that 
that effect. That's fair. Um, and Sophia, your difficulty is going to be five. Sweet, and this is an effect. So that ten three successes. Excellent. Um, and it's bashing, and so that's um, yeah. We're we're gonna say um, that you heal uh, the three levels of of bashing, just straight up, and uh, take a point of paradox for that. Just for the uh, <laughs> for Nolan being like, I'm unconscious, and then oh wait, no, nope, I'm up again. <laughs> So yeah. how many successes did she roll? She rolled three. Is it so more it's, bashing it's, than that? It's two per. Okay, cool. Then uh, six points of bashing you heal. There we go. All right. Hey, and I'm I'm back to one ag. Yay. <laughs> so you, Basically just you wake up to like, Sophia crouching over you with a needle in your, probably chest is the easiest just area to get to. Just Just basically. Yeah, <laughs> roughly. Do I still have my tie on? She didn't move anything. She just stabbed. <laughs> huh? All right. Sorry about that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the scene uh, Heather comes uh, upon <laughs> down the hall. And you're right. watching the Hitmark fire a gun down the other part of the hallway. Okay, Hitmark over there. Yeah. Nolan's on the ground with a needle in him, or Sophia crushed over. Tegan is still to be found. Um, Heather's gonna pull, she's still got her tablet out because she's been walking with it. She's going to uh, try and pull up the ship as much as she can of the ship systems and is going to disable the artificial gravity. Ooh, yes. Excellent. Um... And are yeah. there any could like blast like blast doors or things that like, can I isolate that thing further down? Like I'm less um, sure I, I'm less expecting that to be the case, but Yeah, you can't in this part. Um if you could get them like uh, like into where the room really opens up, um at the end of the hallway, maybe there might be some blast doors there that you think you could you could slam down, but um, he's not quite there yet. Okay, so in that case, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move forward and um, going to disable the artificial gravity. Excellent. Um, that I believe is just a like technology check of just yeah, or computers or one um, of them. I have, I have technology four, which is better. Cool. Um, yeah, do that. Um, is that like um, intelligence yeah. or wits? Uh, let's go. Just remember where it is. Okay, wait, it's okay. Cool beans can do. What's my difficulty? Let's say six. Just to you've you've studied this ship um, fairly well recently, so. Yeah. I think there's part of it. It's like in your inside, secretly really excited about this idea of getting to turn things, turn off the gravity because. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank goodness there was more than one of those. Okay. That is a single success. Okay. That's all you needed. Um, it takes you, you know, most of the, the round, but you, you're like, where did I see that? Oh, here it is. And you, um, you insert the command to turn off the artificial gravity and yeah. And haha, beep. And then just and like float. Everybody starts to float. Just off the ground <laughs> um, except Tegan who is in a computer <laughs> um, but the hit mark does come off the ground and is now the now the bullets are just kind of floating through <laughs> through the air as well <laughs> Jesus oh man this fight is everything I dreamt it would be uh, <laughs> it is now Tegan's turn Tegan is in the computer you know that that Heather has turned off the artificial gravity because you're connected with this computer. Um, um, so you know what she's done. 
And you also know that the hit mark is no longer in the infirmary. Okay. Do I have any sort of idea of popping out? <laughs> what near him? Do I have any sort of sense of direction in this computer? Um give me a uh let's see what what role would that be? That would be a perception and let's say Enigma's role, if you have it. I do not have Enigma's. I have computer and computer engineering. And then we'll take computers. Okay. Uh, computer will just be a slightly higher difficulty because yeah. weird space is weird. That's um, fair. What's my yeah, difficulty? So perception computer difficulty of eight. Okay. Uh, and I'll use my computer aptitude, which reduces mm -hmm. all things nice. by two. So that's CX. There we go. Okay. That is one, two, three, and a minus one. That is two successes for Tegan. Okay. Um, you are pretty sure because of what you can get a sense of in the room. Like, it's not like it's not like you can see fully into the room. This is more of a mm -hmm. you are a part of the system and therefore the system has some sensors that you're kind of using right mm -hmm. um and so you know based on that that um the hit mark is still on this floor like this yeah this floor in the in the ship um mm -hmm. and you're pretty sure he hasn't entered any other room um so Given that you can likely deduce that he's in the hallway, mm -hmm. um, you may not be able to get directly to directly figure out what direction he's in, but you've narrowed it down. Yeah. Um. <sighs> so. The ship has weaponry that's offline, but it's turned off. Can Tegan try and turn on the ship's weapons from inside the computer? Yeah, you can. You can definitely give that a shot. Um, there are more weapons to the outside. Okay. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, all right. Actually, then... give, give if, if you're poking around with that at all, just to like see what mm -hmm. you can do. Um, yeah. Give me a, a perception and computer check. Uh, diff difficulty of seven, and that's with your aptitude. Okay. Oh my god, these dice dislike me. Um, I rolled. Two successes, but I'm also two ones, so that's a, a whopping zippo for Tegan. Okay, cool. You you poke around and you're like, oh, most of the weapons are outside, they don't really help me with this. Um Yeah, and you can do what you want to do. Alright, um Tegan's gonna try and exit the computer again. She's just like, pop me out somewhere. Excellent. I'll be floating, but I'll be out. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, roll me that enlightenment. Um, All right. And we are going to say that this is a difficulty of six. All right. I'm spending willpower because my dice are cursed again. Fair. Fair. Okay, that one's clocked. Okay. So that's... Five successes. Excellent. Um, Tegan's like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you you feel you feel kind of that. Um, there's that prickling sensation of uh, your atoms kind of discorporating and 
you pull yourself together in the infirmary um, for real and you're floating, but you are there. You managed to get out. <gasps> that, that was a... I'm here. I thought that was a short way. It was not the short way. I'm sorry. And then, um, I don't know how much. I don't know if like that's probably Tegan's turn. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's that's pretty much Tegan's turn. Um, but I will describe what you see, which is yeah. um, Mateo huddled in a corner, um, in the infirmary, um, mm-hmm. looking absolutely terrified, uh, and crying. Um, mm-hmm. and then out through the door, you can see, um, Sophia still kind of. Uh, hovering over nolan um possibly stabbing him with something uh (laughs) you know it's sophia um and uh but nolan is awake um and you can kind of see the edge of heather um who has just come down with with uh with her tablet and turned off the artificial grab and they're they're kind of all floating um so sophia and nolan are still floating very close together but Mm. yeah all right, then basically at the end of her turn, she's just getting her, she's uh, pointing her fingers at the hit mark. She's getting ready <laughs> to unload. Thanks. Finally, you'll you'll have to you'll have to push yourself closer to the door to be able to get yeah. the angle right. But you can do that on on yeah. your turn or like on yeah. this turn. Yeah. So she'll like pull herself to the door and be, get ready and be like, "Oh, sorry, I got a little lost inside the computer of the ship. It's fine. I'm here now." Um. Oh, and you're gonna take um, uh, oh yeah, two points of paradox for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and Mateo is going to continue being terrified and crying in the corner. Um, Nolan, it's your turn. You're awake. <laughs> okay. You feel adrenaline coursing through your body. <laughs> oh no. Uh. 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 Okay, so he's shooting at this thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's in this hallway right now? Um, the th- three of you and um, you're all floating. There's a bunch of equipment that seems to be like it's kind of down the hall, but it's it's strapped to the wall, so it's not floating. Um, okay, well then in that case he's going to reach into the pocket of his jacket with an established prop that was already there and go Hey Metalhead! Um, Because your other effect kind of, you know, wears off this round, you're going to get a look He's going to flash a flashlight and then turn it on its strobe setting and uh, I'm going to use Entropy 3 um, okay. I'm going to use Slay Machine, um, okay. but uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to use this at... I might not actually need Entropy 3 for this. Um, entropy 1 could be good enough. Uh, basically, um, Tegan's here. I'm going to lower her yep. difficulty to hit him by making him seize up. Okay, yeah. Just a momentary pause is all I need. Cool, yep. So let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Wait, I can just boost Tegan. Yeah, you I'll can. flash the, you know what? In, so so he'll go, hey, over here. And then he's going to go and like put a target right on the center of his forehead and go point and shoot. So Tegan, cool. I'm going to spend a lower your difficulty on you rather than deal with counter magic, I think. Cool. Uh, 854 with Entropy 1, uh, that is probably three successes. That is indeed. Um, yeah, so that, awesome. So, Tegan, your difficulty on your, on your shot will be at a minus three. Yep. And, uh, since we were talking in the private chat, there, there is such a thing as microgravity operations, which most of you don't have. Um, yeah, boy, except- shooting's gonna be hard next turn, Heather. <clears throat> Whoops. Yep. 
Um, however, Heather does go before you in the initiative. So, and the hit mark goes next, um, but the hit mark also suffers from this. So, um, the yeah, the hit mark turns and sees this this light that you know flashes a, a bit of a, um, a target on him and. Let me see. Uh, uh, the the hit mark looks at you, Nolan, because you seem to be the one aggravating it the most. Um, yeah, man, I know. It's all good. It's just good. <laughs> We're good. And goes to like raise his gun, and it it clicks empty um, because I'm shooting at the duck <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> um. And just just says, um, give me what you took from the base. And that is uh, his turn because he can't ri- he he doesn't have microgravity operations, <laughs> so <laughs> he tries to like push closer, but is in the middle of the hallway and there's nothing to push off of. So he's just like floating and actually uh, takes more electricity um he's still he hasn't seized up because i'm spending willpower to make that not happen uh but um he is getting his soak dice still so and he i i'm sorry guys isn't soak is insane they, um, it's, that that's how they they went that that that's what they do yep they're tanks they are tanks um yeah so um. Yep, that is his turn. It's Sophia's turn. All right. So I've lost all gravity. Yes. Can I willpower to force myself through hypercram? Yes. Really fast. Yes. I would like to have some information on microgravity operations, please. You can absolutely do that. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what do I have to do to get that? Just spend a willpower to get the two dots? Um, I think so. Or do so. I have to roll? I haven't had hypercram in a while. Uh, hold on. Here's You're thing. supposed to meditate to get it? Type yeah. Thing? Or like spend time studying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, it's roll perception plus hypercram. Right. Okay. So. Um, so I'm just gonna let you. I'm gonna let you spend the willpower, um, to, to roll that in this situation. Like instantly, in the yeah. situation. Yeah. Okay. What's my difficulty? Uh, difficulty of six. Uh, that's three successes. Fantastic. You can use those dots. Sweet. I've got two dots of microgravity operations. I would like to try and move around. Potentially. Excellent. Um, yeah, uh, Dex and microgravity operations to just kind of make sure, you know, you've got it good. I'm not if like you... starting to. Yeah. Spiral down the hallway. Yeah, because you're like, you're like I read this. I read about holding. this in a book. I read about this in a book somewhere. <laughs> Did he manage to disconnect the taser from him? Uh, he has not. He has not tried though. I'm gonna keep using it then. Okay. Uh, so that's two tens and a seven to not yeah. spin in midair. It's like you were born here. <laughs> You're just like, oh, ah, yes. You're not some space station. Just <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Moving smoothly through the space. Excellent. Yep. So you can do whatever you would like. I'm just going to keep holding it then. Okay. Fantastic. You keep holding it. It keeps arcing electricity into him. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole heck of a lot i've been rolling really well on soak but um but it's still there he hasn't it tried to take it off his, it might overwhelm his systems at some point so at the moment it's not yep. hurting her to hold it and i don't have a weapon on me so i don't think so yep it's true and he's also kind of incapacitated right now like in terms of being able to move himself um so you've definitely got the upper hand here okay you know what in that point i'll have held it yep to send another charge through and then I'm going to go for the infirmary to try and find myself 
weaponry. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Heather, your turn now. <laughs> You've got everyone floating. And it looks to be keeping the hit mark, at least, at bay. As planned. Mm -hmm. She was very confident that this plan would absolutely work and not inconvenience anyone. Um, so... I think Heather would like to... How do I want to do this? I want to do an entropy effect to... Like... Make him clumsy or how do I put this? Because basically I figure if she's got the, the thing open on her tablet, she can just hit gravity back again. But I think she wants to try and mess up his center of balance if possible or like I've got entropy 2. I just kind of want to okay, the yeah. odds to make him not land steady. Yeah, um, you can basically um, twist uh, chance in your favor for how he's going to land. And like you can time it out properly so that he's going to land in a weird way that will then make it yeah. more difficult for him. Yep. Yeah, that's basically yeah what she wants to do. Cool. Um, so a lot of that's just going to be like timing and, and keeping an eye on the... Doing some very quick mental calculations for angles. Absolutely. Um, if she needs to toss it, something to like make it happen even better, I actually can I can do that too. Like I don't know, like cool. a screwdriver or um, marbles. <laughs> she probably has throw like fidget marbles. marbles. Throw, throw fidget marbles because that's absolutely great. gonna throw some marbles at. Like so, so button and then marbles is the, is to do this. Fantastic. Good job. Um, yeah, Roma, your enlightenment. All right. Um, we're gonna call that difficulty of oh that's like really straightforward uh four okay <laughs> that is two successes amazing um yeah you you wait for the the right moment and um the way this is going to happen is it's actually going to the right moment is going to be immediately before his turn in initiative. Um, so you're just waiting on that, which means the marbles and whatnot will not um, necessarily affect the first several people in initiative because <laughs> you throw it right before you let them drop. <laughs> Handy. Um, I also think what this is going to look like is that she's get prepping them and she's got the talent. I think she's got it floating. Mm hmm. OK. Because, you know, hands free to rummage and and, ta yep. and get ready to toss kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, back around to Tegan, who is uh, moving towards, or, well, trying to move towards the uh, the door a little bit. You did have something to push off of, so you could push. Mm -hmm. But you are still in, in uh, microgravity operations, or, like, you need microgravity yes. operations to actually fire. Yeah. Which I do not have. Um... Yeah. <laughs> now you can look out and see that the hit mark, you know, says, you know, uh, give me what you took from the base, and he's also just kind of floating there, and his gun is empty. Um, so you may not have to fire at this particular moment, but you can also, if you would like, um, like hold, uh, essentially hold your initiative, and and all like dogpile them after. <laughs> <laughs> micro or after the gravity comes back. But sure, Tegan's gonna kind of be like So are we just gonna hang here forever or we like have a plan? But hanging was the plan. I'd like to shoot at him, but I can't unless someone drops gravity. I can't swim in this thing. Um Mateo floating in the corner, um, <laughs> Still, still kind of crying. Looks. Actually, T can give me a perception and alertness just because you happen to be in the room with Mateo. Okay, perception and alertness. Uh, difficulty of six. Alrighty. That's 
Two successes. At least there was no ones in that in that role. But my dice are still. Um, you glance over at Mateo, who you actually recognize the expression on Mateo's face because you once were in a similar mental state, and it is complete dissociation. Mm. Just blank stare, crying, like tears flowing down his face, yeah. um, but just completely dissociated from this moment. So, and floating. Uh, hey, Doc, we're gonna need you in here. Mateo's not well. <laughs> not my turn <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah it is she your turn after Mateo's turn. her thing will I still be able to get the bonus from Nolan or did that only go for a round I only have um, successes for it to go for a round probably yeah um so okay um I, w- I will give you a reduced um uh version so instead of a, a minus three difficulty, you'll have a minus one difficulty because it'll be technically, like, as it's fading, you're, like, okay. shooting. But sure. you'll still have a, a slight reduced difficulty. Sounds good. I'm assuming the thing that Christine has is a merit, the cramming? Uh, it's background. a background. Oh, background. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's also yeah. called Dream and Mage. Mm. So. Cool. Cute. Um, yeah, it's All right, I'm gonna hold my initiative until we have some gravity. Then I'm going to shoot him with yep. my guns. Sounds good. Um, Mateo continues to dissociate. Uh, Nolan, it is your turn. Uh, uh, okay, so this thing is still up and once. Um, c- can you be more descriptive about what was taken? Perhaps, I mean, maybe, you know, communication is the key to any type of negotiation, really? Uh, Also, where did you come from? Do you have a rocket pack? And I think that's probably where he's gonna run out of. (laughs) Pretty much, yeah, that's good though. Um, So this is gonna happen in an, interesting uh interesting succession so the hit mark is going to look over at um at nolan who's asking him questions um and uh basically go i came in from outside the um uh, I I followed your ship after it left the base and then gravity's gonna end <laughs> and um, and Heather rolls the marbles just as the hit mark's about to like grab his feet and um, and he slips on them and uh, I'm gonna see how I'm mostly rolling this he's going to technically fail this roll because of 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 uh the entropy effect, but I'm going to see if it's a fail or a botch. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. Um, Dex Athletics, let's. Just a fail. So, but he is going to be um, off balance and um, slips and falls to one knee. So um, he doesn't get any other action that turn. And stops talking because that startled the crap out of him. Um, and it is uh, now Sophia's turn. And so as as gravity comes back, <laughs> anyone with microgravity operations, um, you are going to be fine and you're going to land just fine. Those of you without microgravity operations. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, just um, the tablet was floating. Um, yes, it, either it is going to yeah. Or or can it, Heather would try to reflexively like grab it. I think it's got like a yes. string or something on it, but okay. You can absolutely try to grab it. Um, that's okay. the role that you can make. Uh, and then Tegan and Nolan, you can make me a Dex and Athletics to try and keep your feet. Mateo just crashed. Oh wow! Ground. Actually, two successes. Well done. What's, Dex, the, difficulty? what's the difficulty? Six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's just Dex for me to grab it. 
Uh, Dex and Athletics to grab it. Okay. Three successes for Tegan. Nice. Yeah. Two successes. You managed to grab the tablet. Um, you almost bobble it and drop it yourself because you're like, I grabbed it. <laughs> what just, <laughs> what just happened? But um, you were the one turning it off, so you knew what was what was coming. Um, Tegan, you managed to keep your feet, and Nolan, you managed to keep your feet, but it's a little bit of a heavier landing. It's like a, <laughs> an oof. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. As you kind of brace yourself against the wall, and then Sophia's fine, um, which means it's Sophia's turn, and she's fine, and the hit marker's down to one knee. Um, now, Mata, oh, yeah. actually, I forgot to do roll a save. I, mm-hmm. with holding initiative, do mm-hmm. I? Oh, right. Yeah, you can go. I forgot you had hold it. Held it. Yeah. Both no of you worries. basically are going at the same time right now. Um, You're just going to hear for, for this round. Two from Tegan. And cool. she aims her things. So it's a dexterity and energy weapons, damage is dealt via forces to procedure. Cool. Cool. And uh, cybernetic weaponry and hand eye are my specialties. So, you know, just double. Nice. Special. You only get to explode once. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Um, what is my difficulty? Six? Or what's... Um, yeah, it's six. Okay. Oh, no, it's it's five because of Nolan. All right! Thank you, Nolan. Did that actually help? Yeah, yeah I, I rolled three fives in, in that mix. So there you go. That is five successes. I'm good at what I do. What I do is Damn. being weird. Um, Thank you, Nolan. With, with finger guns, does it tell you, like, is it that says, is damage yeah. is dealt via forces to procedure? Okay, so yeah, it just it just does the thing. Cool. Um, we're gonna do this. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, and then we are going to do this. Does it say what kind of damage? It's just lethal? Um, no, it just says mm-hmm. forces two. So whatever forces two. Oh, right, else? right. Yeah. It can do lethal oh. or bashing, depending on what you intend. Um, probably lethal at this point. Tegan knows mm-hmm. they're not good news. On, on uh, part of my latest soak roll, I rolled a lot of twos and threes, so you're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, did, 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 you rolled five successes? Yep. Cool. Tegan's just like, finally able to do something. <laughs> right. Traffic okay, computer. um, yeah, you, you fire off the finger guns, and, um, that looks like it actually, actually hurt him. Um, not, he's still looking fine, and, you know, moving fine, but... You definitely did some damage, so Sophia, your turn. All right. Um, well, I think I was dashing into the infirmary mm-hmm. to see if I could find anything that would actually work. Right. Yes. As a weapon defense type thing. So I don't know. Cool. Something along the sides of the crowbar might be nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Tegan fires off her shots as you kind of land and duck down so that you're you're sure you're not in the way and run into the infirmary and you see Mateo just kind of crash from the from where he was floating um and you look around um and basically whatever kind of improvised weapon you might want if you want a crowbar there's probably one in here um there was a bunch of storage stuff in here and you went through most of it lots of it was medical supplies but there were a couple of things like a crowbar to open up a box or um uh or there's like chairs and stuff if you want to do some other kind of improvised weaponry or something like that um or if there's something you're looking for in particular we can talk about it i think she will just try and pull the crowbar and see if uh that'll give her something to work with in case this continues because like she did try initially to ask why are you here and he just didn't answer Mm -hmm. what do you want so she's like well I'm kind of hostile (laughs) yep 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 um so from there I think I'm just going to basically hold it until I kind of see what's happening now that the others are involved sounds good um Heather it is your turn again (laughs) 
Actually, Heather, give me a um, perception and alertness. Or no, sure. perception and computers. And computers, okay. Yeah, and Tegan, give me that as well. And what's my difficulty? Um, six if you have computer a uh, aptitude and eight Yeah, I have mechanical don't. aptitude. So yeah, so both. I think both of you are at six then. My dice are just fucking wild tonight. <laughs> I rolled all success except one one, which <gasps> subtracts. But oh no. that is four successes for Tegan. Cool. Um, okay, I think this is just a fail. Wait, no. Um, I got a six, but two ones. So that's a botch, isn't it? Um... No, I thought botch is when you don't get any successes. No, and successes. You yeah, okay. but you have mechanical aptitude, not computer aptitude, right? Yeah, so I don't think that worked here. Yeah, so um, so your difficulty would have been H. So yeah, that is a botch. Okay, so this is a botch then. Okay, yeah, no, this is yeah. this is a full on botch. Yep, we good. Cool. cool All right. Cool. Um, when you grabbed your tablet, um, you. Uh, you managed to grab it, but you also managed to turn it off. So. Okay, so I didn't accidentally, like, in my fumbling, accidentally disable something critical. Yeah, yeah. That's, you're, that's you're, good. You're, it's um, a simple so, botch, so uh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't you didn't so, like light anything I on think fire. In that case, she's just going to be very distracted, rebooting this thing, and is going to completely zone out of everything else happening around because it's like, oh crap. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Tegan, yes. uh, you realize um, that, like, after you make your shot, uh, you realize that there's a... Um, there's a sound in your head that you're not familiar with. Um, mm -hmm. But it sounds like... It, when, when you focus on it for a second, um, and uh, your turn is immediately after Heather's, so, because mm -hmm. um, even though you held initiative, it was just to shoot the gun, so I'm just going to be like, yeah. you can come back. Um, and you, uh, you focus in on that sound for a second, and you go, is that a, like a phone ringing? Like an old school phone ringing? And you think it's like on the ship's computers, like you're still connected to them. Huh. And it's your Tegan's turn. Gonna try and answer it with her implant. Uh, excellent. Hello? Um, you say hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you hear a uh, kind of let's say a, a older woman but but not um, not old woman uh, you heard an older woman's voice mature woman's voice mm -hmm. um, who uh, kind of goes oh um, hello is this the let's see are you the nautilus or the rogue today sorry the rogue the ship that you're on is it the nautilus or the rogue does answer does this answer depend on if uh, i'm gonna get blasted out of the space or Oh no, I just wanted to know who I was addressing. And we're gonna call um, if you want to do something there, but your talking is done. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, no. I think at that point, um, a Tegan's totally distra- How how bad is this? Um, out of like a half corner of her eye, how bad is this uh, hit mark looking? Um not super bad um okay. if you get a couple of good hits on him you could take him out mm -hmm. um but 
there's still plenty of fight left in him. Okay. Um. She has one more finger gun. Just because I bought two, so she has. She's gonna discharge the other one. Do one more shot. And then okay. need a couple minutes to recharge. Sounds good. All right, that is. Eat the yeast. Re rolls. Uh, what was my difficulty on that? Uh, did I say six last time? Yeah. I think I said six. Yeah. Okay. Four successes this time. Excellent. Um, Pew. So that is. That. That. And. Maybe that. Um, yeah, he's starting to look hurt at this point. Um, still up, still, still active, but that one definitely, definitely left a mark, uh, as you, as you fired off, as you're kind of distractedly talking, but you were already yeah, in the in middle of the conversation. What's happening is like, <laughs> she's like, oh, who's this? Does answering how, how I answer is going to say, hold on a second, pew, um, how, <laughs> whether or not you're going to come blow us out of this space or not that's basically how it happens she's just yeah, like absolutely <laughs> on the phone yeah and nolan it's your turn so what are you looking for we don't have to do violence violence is uh, generally non-productive just, just calm down we can we can work this out i'm really actually curious what you think we took honestly I have patients I should be attending to. Yeah, that's what I got. Cool. Um, he he takes the shot from from Tegan and goes, oh, you took files from my employers. Return them now. Um, and uh, he is going to. Uh, da, da, da. He needs this other thing. Um, Nolan, I think you are the closest target because Sophia went back in. <laughs> I am 100% okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you would like to reflexively dodge, you can attempt to. I got an eight. Nice. Okay. Um, it's not a great shot that he takes at you, but um, he does he does hit you. And this is lethal damage. Um, but he only does three lethal damage to you <laughs> as he reaches out and instead of like going to punch you um his uh his fingers have like changed into claws that he reaches out and slashes you with we don't gotta do this come on you cut my tie <laughs> yeah he absolutely cut he cuts your tie slashes across your shirt and and your blazer a bit as well <laughs> Um, and it is Sophia's turn. Wreck his, wreck him up. <laughs> All right. I think Sophia's kind of like their technocracy, border technocracy. Stop fucking stealing. <laughs> we did our jobs. Bang. <laughs> you come out into the hallway, and as as um, uh, the hit mark slashes at Nolan, uh, and you're like. It's not fucking stealing, um, and you just, he looks up and you just clock him. We, we um, or did try our to jobs, him. and it was threatening all down there. That's not exactly your employers. The technocracy is your employer. Uh, and th uh, roll me... Um, melee and strength? Uh, Dex, and, Dex and melee uh, to start to hit him. Okay. Uh, difficulty oh. of... Uh, we're going to say seven because it's uh, it's slightly more improvised. 
Ah, uh, that's three successes. Excellent. Um, and you smack him. Uh, roll me strength uh, plus plus three in in damage dice. Difficulty six. Is three successes. I rolled four, but I also rolled a one. Um, yeah, you clock him across the head, um, and he turns and looks back at you. And this would have probably brained a human, um, but he looks back at you, and you can see the eye on the side that you hit is twitching. Um, and he starts, like, jerking, and, um, you can see sparks coming out of, of his head, uh, and the light goes out of his eyes, and he is down. Alright. And he just slumps to the floor, slowly. And we're out of initiative, so... Can you have a... Can you reprogram him? Yeah. Um, that seems more like Nolan's field. How how would it be Nolan's field? I, I did take a course in artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence psychology at the Institute. That is the computer. Yeah, but how it's still a much computer though, like Oh hey! Not like it's living. Look, this is a great philosophical argument, but counterpoint, there's a lot of blood here. Oh wow, that's a oh. That's a Oh. Alright. <laughs> I'd like to pull out another stabbing effect. Yeah, stab him. All right. <laughs> Nolan, hold still. She's gonna kinda reach up on her shoulder to hold mm-hmm. him in place and then stab him in the chest again with it. Fantastic. Always uh, with the stabbing. Ooh. Roll me your dice I mean, too. Expeditious method of you want me guys to heal. Uh, Tegan, you're in the middle of a conversation in your head. Yeah, um, she's like, she's like, she holds out finger to everyone else who's trying to say her time? name. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what was that? Difficulty was six uh, last time, I think. Yeah. Okay, so two successes. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Nolan, you you heal the lethal. Um, <laughs> and you still have the egg, but you heal <laughs> the lethal. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. Can't, uh, can't and. Actually, Sophia, do you just drag him into the infirmary? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just kind of you don't take any paradox. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're like, come into my office. <laughs> Shove him in. Okay. Um, Tegan, uh, mm-hmm. so the last thing she said was, I want you to know who I'm addressing. I mean you no harm. What? Um... Keegan Warner or on the Nautilus we kinda got transported here not of our own accord we were in past the anomaly and now we're in regular space but uh, who are you if you don't mind me asking oh it's it's wonderful to meet you Keegan Warner of the Nautilus my name is Mariana of Balador, and my pleasure dome is approaching your ship. And we're going to take what? a break. <laughs> your what now? <laughs> we're going to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> what, what everyone hears from Tegan as she's like saying this out loud. What? What is happening? <laughs> ah. Yeah. We'll be right back. We're back. Excellent. Hi, welcome back. Um, 
let's talk to the chat for like you know five or six minutes or something like that and then we will get into the pleasure dome or whatever you guys decide to do like honestly your choice if you would prefer to not go to the pleasure dome also fine um we'll just see where that plot takes us you ready to get but. pleasured everybody mm -hmm. so pleasured There's something for Whoa. everyone at the pleasure dome Whoa. No one oh, yeah. stripping. <laughs> well his jacket got tore up yep yep it did mm -hmm. that's true yeah so yeah how's 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 the team how's the team feeling tonight <laughs> oh it was great you know getting lost in <laughs> yeah, I... oh that was so um, good oh yeah so you are still experiencing paradox ba backlash just so nice. you know where cool. your brain is connected to the ship's computer um for the next at least for the rest of this game and then we'll see what happens awesome. um just because yeah that was a pretty epic um botch but i also yep. didn't want to fully trap you in the computer the whole time <laughs> i appreciate that um it, it was it was fun it was fun taking taking the long way that was really yeah so way. which is which is why i made you like actually roll to like do another effect to get out and take yep. paradox from that yeah yep. <laughs> but um but yeah so your brain is still like partially connected to the ship's computer and you're like oh hey <laughs> okay how's it going computer yeah uh, great no yeah. now take also a figure out how to do that on purpose <laughs> my little like effect needles yeah i, I need that. to spend more time making more i need to be prepped for all situations right yeah absolutely um but yeah these <laughs> yeah these, these botches are are pretty great you guys keep doing botching roll like magic rolls or science enlightenment rolls um in situations where it's like well i see where the backlash is <laughs> like it's yeah we like know. to do the legwork for you really it's just yeah. right just, yeah we're just like, good players helpful. that way the right. second i botched i was like oh tegan's trapped tegan's in the computer this is there's no way there's there's any way it was it was in terms of mage and and like creative thinking it was brilliant and mm -hmm. if it had worked great it was yep. a hilarious botch but <laughs> oh so good honestly i'm i'm happy i botched rather than succeeding i think that was hilarious i think it was just right. so funny for T yeah. to be like i'm gonna take the shortcut it's like <laughs> it's the, the dad is like, i know the way i know the way it's just through this street here and it's like it's not dad it's right. not butcher yeah yeah um but yeah the uh, uh da, da. yeah for the chat on on these botches when they already have like a fair amount of paradox um i'm not i'm not so much using the m20 rules as i am just using narrative paradox rules because it's like it's right there. I don't want to roll and for the dice to tell me that, you know, your botch is like, oh, you took two bashing as you went through there. It's like, no, that's, I like the narrative part. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's always the better solution is what makes the sense. Yeah, right? Makes the sense. Um, yeah. But yeah, combat is, is hard to run and keep interesting, but you guys did great. And that hit mark had... Those, my soak dice guys <laughs> i have never rolled that well on soak dice or anything <laughs> it's true i'm your normal storyteller i can confirm this right yeah and i'm like come on come on just just stop just take damage damn it <laughs> so like he wanna. took he took almost nothing from most of the taser after the first bit because he kept soaking it and just being like i have armor <laughs> Let us say, we're, Heather, we're willpower to have him move though, which was good. Because mm. he was ignoring. Heather it, came but... in clutch with the with the anti grav yes. with him though. That was great. So clutch. It's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I was like, okay, there's got to be something for, like, a skill for getting around in this. And then, you guys started chatting about the the microgravity thing in our chat. I was like. <gasps> Okay, that's what I need to hypercram. <laughs> and that, really that was wonderful too. Yeah, getting able to use or being able to use hypercram, beautiful. Uh, I forgot you had that, and I love that you do. So, 
Okay, I'm almost done with a new design for something that I've been Ooh. photoshopping during the break and a little before. I think you'll like it when it's done. It's dumb. Amy, Amy talk so that we know whether you messed up your mic. Hello, did I accidentally change something? Nope. You're, okay. At least as far as I can tell, you're good. <laughs> Something got shuffled and it was using a different device, so I had to like just reselect it and everything. So it's like cool. Well, instance. you're you still sound good to to me. So. <laughs> well. So, how is everybody besides Sleepy? Good. Yeah. Sleepy. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty sleep. hyped for the next the next two days of work or after. <laughs> Have bottling. We've uh, bottled like ten thousand cases of wine this last week. Ooh. Is that it? We, yeah, we that's kept, it. We kept Those seeing are... wine or, or listing for your winery, and we were like, "Yay!" Yeah. Yep. Those are rookie numbers. Yep. You got to pump those up. <laughs> well, I want to uh, they do total 45,000 cases and in the next five years they want to double that to or not quite double but like they want to go to 75,000 so you know they are yeah. pumping up those rookie numbers they are they are indeed mm -hmm. you can help them accomplish that join today right. and drink wine drink wine <laughs> but yeah um, pay me so yeah, I can it... have pretty wigs for, for games <laughs> there we go um, as I was saying to the cast before we came back, um, because of how sleepy most of us are, oh, excuse me, um, I might end game a little early tonight, but we're going to see what you guys are doing and what, how much you're enjoying the role play and, uh, how these next few scenes go and to determine that. So, but also Professor Multiverse is just the meme games are great tonight oh yeah the most recent one is directed at you Jen, and it's fantastic i always have to see these mm -hmm. they're great we're gonna check it live on stream i had yeah, to keep me up with them so i need i saw the first one and then i didn't see the rest <laughs> <laughs> oh that's beautiful these are so good Okay, I like the Tegan. Okay, I have a plan one. <laughs> yup. That was so oh, good. I'm pretty sure you see me on... I have a plan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a, a, a moment on stream where I have to, like, have to control myself from laughing, because it was just like I saw that. I was like... <laughs> that was exactly uh, what happened. Yeah, that's so good. I like the uh, Krista just being like, I don't think I can watch Mage or I will lose the joy of being so truly baffled by these memes. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, beautiful. All right. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I'm going to yeah. uh, refill my cup. Okay, the rubber ducky one is gold. Yeah, it is. The I'm very proud of my rubber ducky flip. That was or the flick. That was, that was great. beautiful. Yeah, that was great. I was really sad impressed. when you hit in cap when because <laughs> goddamn electricity. But I'm always impressed with this though because like you come up with some of the weirdest shit for Nolan, and that I'm always great. looking forward to what weird ass thing he's gonna pull out next. Yep. Quick question though, going forward, um, mm -hmm. can I get a willpower back for Trickster? Yes, absolutely. Okay, good, good, good. I need more. I have one willpower now. Because <laughs> I keep not being allowed to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this this whole I was gonna say this this whole series is just an exercise in um, sleep deprivation torture for Nolan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh! You want the mental health professional to sleep? No. <laughs> not Best of luck with that. Right. Yeah. All right. Go grab your water, and then let's head back in. Yeah. And uh, I've got, I've got my drink. I've got, I've got secret stuff I can't tell everybody, but everybody who's in that secret chat needs to go weigh in on on my my idea for Patreon Patreon profit. 
not you guys don't have to pay anything else. You're fine. But like <laughs> for those suckers who aren't on the Patreon. <laughs> Did yes. you send it? Uh, yeah, I did say I, I sent it to everybody in involved. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. you're involved in other special projects. <laughs> Although you didn't weigh in on the other thing, so. <laughs> what other thing? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> there are many things. I sent out like six messages when I was supposed to be taking a nap today. No, yeah, you did. I didn't get any of those messages then. <laughs> I'm not. Oh boy. You did, but oh, right. we'll talk. We'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to be subtle and secretive on stream. <laughs> when anyway. Somebody's like, <laughs> but I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, all right. Um, we'll see what you guys decide to do. Breath. And we're back. Welcome back to Technocracy Zero Sum. Tegan, you are listening to a voice in your head that mm -hmm. has just said she is Mariana of Balador and her pleasure dome is approaching your ship. Um. Hey, hey, gang. Do any of you know the name Marianne of Balador? Can I roll for this? Yeah, please do. Uh, um, in, in should I roll for this? Ooh, might be before you Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But you're going to be at a slightly higher difficulty. So we're going to go... Where's my sheet? Um, yeah, intelligence and whatever you think might apply here, whether that's, or, or even just straight intelligence for remembering, but politics would work, um, investigation, enigmas would probably work, maybe yeah. even cosmology if you have it. Um, oh, sure. Like that. I, uh, investigation... Otherwise, I have Esoterica. I don't have Enigmas or Cosmology. Uh, esoterica would work, yeah. Okay. What's the difficulty? Um, because uh, I did for it. You, for you, it's going to be a difficulty of six. Three and successes. for uh, Sophia, it's going to be a difficulty of eight. Two. Nice. Uh, and, it would sorry. have been three, except for that one. Ah, uh, yeah. Kelly, what did you say for yours? Three? Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, both of you have heard the name Mariana, or you you think you've heard the name because Tegan kind of butchered it, butchered it a little, which is fair because Tegan has no idea who she is. Um, but that combination um, does uh, ring a bell to both of you. Um, Sophia, you know um you know that she it's it's through like your studies into reality deviance and 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 historical reality deviants who haven't um that are kind of on a like watch out for list um it's it's more that they don't know where these these people are and so you're not super familiar with her but um you do know that she is from the uh cult of ecstasy and that she is probably very old and very powerful but you don't know much beyond that and nolan you know the name um you know that that she's she was the leader of uh the cult of ecstasy before the dimensional anomaly um so you would have heard her name early in your career um, and also would have been kind of an, an on the, be on the lookout thing because she just vanished and nobody knew where she was. Um, huh. And so, yeah, you know a bit about her and you have heard of the Pleasure Dome that um, was 
in theory, some sort of subdimension that she, maybe she created it, but maybe somebody else did it. It might be older than her. You're not sure. Um, but a subdimension that just was supposed to be destroyed. Uh, can you call bullshit on that? She's she's she's, she's gone. No, um, no, I'm not calling bullshit. She's calling the ship. Okay, well I'm Napoleon then. Well, I mean, she's on the list. It is unknown what happened. If she just hasn't been seen for a long time. Which is kind of terrifying, because that could be that she's quite, uh, old and powerful. Hmm. It's one of the, what they call ecstatics. Uh, they get the power from sex. Yeah, yeah, Something no, like no, no. I'm sorry, I'm thinking if I can try and route this call so you guys can also talk to her, since you sound like you know her. Or know of her that you could confirm. So Tika's gonna try and go what? to the computer. The name's familiar, but that's it. Yeah, we're not Tika's acquainted personally. Uh, you miss... going to the computer? Yeah. Tegan's gonna just be like, I'm gonna try and answer you from the actual chip computer. Can you hold for like a minute? I can hold. Great. Thank you. And then Tegan will be like, um, on the computer. Tegan starts hearing like elevator hold music. You didn't put it on. <laughs> nice touch. Uh, and then yeah, Tegan will try and route the call to the computer so everyone else can hear. <laughs> Just take yeah. It um, absolutely. Give me a... Let's go wits and computer at a difficulty of four. That's okay. with your aptitude. Yeah, yeah, I figured you're uh, putting that in there. Yeah. Uh, wits and computer. Noisy is... Where were these rolls earlier? Um, <laughs> I rolled uh, <laughs> six, 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 nine, nine. That's five successes. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, you can absolutely. Um, you know that you can route it into the sound system here, or if you went to the bridge, you could probably um, pull up like a video feed as well, mm -hmm. potentially. Um, yeah. but as you're kind of investigating your options, you realize that your, um, that the call is already connected to the computer. Like, it's not like it's coming to you, it's coming to the computer yeah. and you're basically being a speaker for it, which wasn't the case 20 minutes ago. <laughs> huh. But you can That's definitely nice. reroute it. Gonna think to herself. Uh, and then yeah, she'll reroute it. She will bring everyone to the closest thing and then just like reroute it and being like, when did I mean, what? Are you rerouting the sound to, to like the infirmary here or are you taking everyone? Yeah, in the infirmary here since we're all kind of just chilling in the infirmary, cool. she will kind of just reroute it in there and to be like, all right, you're on speakerphone. Thank you for holding. Um, Mm, of course. Marianne ba Balador, did you say? I'm not Mar familiar with Marianne of Balador, yes. Marianne of Balador. Yes. Um, I'm on uh, speakerphone, you say. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Who am I talking to besides Tegan Warner of the Nautilus? Um... Uh, I'm Heather. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, Dr. Yep. Nolan. Dr. Nolan, it's a pleasure. 
Do you only have audio or do you have video? We can do video, but I believe that the system I am currently speaking to does not have that capability. Yeah, I haven't hooked it up for a video. We could go to the bridge if we wanted to do that. I just figured this would be the fastest Oh no, way it's not necessary. I just wanted to know if you already had video of us. Oh, I don't have video of you, no. Okay, that's probably for the best then. Slightly less creepy. <laughs> I wish to extend an invitation to take sucker at my at my pleasure dome, as you seem to be adrift here in the depths of space. Just a little bit. What is, uh, what, what does that entail? Um, you may dock your ship here and come and partake of whatever you wish in the pleasure dome. Uh, the single rule is, um, Harm no one, and you will not come to harm. Okay. Yeah. You may rest and recover, and if you need to do repairs on your ship, there is a, um, I believe it's called a dry dock. That might be might be handy if you have uh, yeah, that could be useful resources. Um, so, if you're the real Mariana of Valador, uh, mm-hmm. where you been? That is a bit of a long story. However, I have mostly been in my reconstructed pleasure dome. Reconstructed? I guess we're gonna make sense. So this is the the second version of the pleasure dome? So it's double yes. pleasure? The the first was unfortunately destroyed several years ago. Many years ago. I think time is Time is unusual for someone like me. Hmm. Uh, uh, how much food? Cover the mic. While how much we're food do we have? talking, huh? Sorry. How much food do we have? How much, like, how much, how much, like, you know, nosh, food? We have enough for 60 days. Okay. Um. If they're, if they're actually out there, like, if this is a real thing and this isn't a trick, then then they, they, they haven't discorporated. That's true. But we're also not in the same place we were before. Oh, yeah. So I'm like slightly less worried about that. I'm more worried about... Huh. Well, worried is a strong word, but I'm more apprehensive of running out of food. Hmm. Also, we'll probably starve to death first. Some people that are more inclined with the technology of our ship potentially get aid in getting stuff up. Fair. I'm running a little smoother. Where we and Tegan will press the mute button. Um, why don't we say we were looking for potentially some Meiji folk? You know, magic. Yeah, that, 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 
Yeah, she's 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 an ecstatic. She used to be the head of the 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 the, the, the cult of ecstasy. Yes, we were saying earlier that we we might need someone that's more and in, magically inclined would be able to help fix our shit better. So looks like oh it's oh okay okay sorry you into making... our laps. Yeah, the device. I mean, really the question is though, is why charged. would they help us? Well, well we said it was the, nice I thing. answered it was the Nautilus, which was the old version of the ship. So they may think we're one of them. So um, we may want to keep it somewhat quiet. Huh. Sure. I feel like I mean, they probably figure it out pretty freaking fast. Not well. If it's actually been zooming around in space here, they might be actually inclined to go by that rule of if we don't cause harm, then no harm will come to us. I mean, they may actually be willing to eat us, and that's a gamble we're going to have to take. Uh, it depends on their definition of harm. Fixing us, on the other hand, they might not consider harm. Well, this all just sounds very interesting to me, so... Okay. I'm inclined to give them a chance. I don't think we have much option, and... I don't think the better offer is going to come around in the vastness of space. Plus, okay, uh, I just wanted to say, I mean, you're not is... twist my arm. I mean, Pleasure Dome is Pleasure Dome. Plus, right. if they have a dry dock, I can do a lot more to fix the ship, which is a good thing. <laughs> I thought you were going to say if they had a drive through for a minute. I don't know why. I'm just kind of hungry. I could really go for a milkshake. Oh, man. And fries. You should get the replicator working. Yeah, that's not high on my priority, priority list at the moment. But All yeah. Right, I'm going to take us off mute and give her an answer, and she'll want me to be like, Yeah, after um, we would love to take you up on your offer of. Uh, Boarding your pleasure dome. <laughs> we haven't even met, and you're already talking about boarding my pleasure dome. But excellent. Um, <clears throat> if you will simply not not resist the um, effect that is about to come over your ship. And I don't know. I don't know if we could. What are you doing? To, what are you doing to the ship? I'm bringing you into the dock. Wow. Magic. You have to walk me through the steps later. Compare technique notes. I would love to do that. Just a moment, and the ship will, um, you weren't so much moving in, in space, um, and, but you can, you could kind of feel the, ex like, the existence of, of floating there a little bit, and the ship stabilizes is basically what um, uh, is what it feels like. So it 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 gets a little steadier, and you're like, okay. And then you f it feels like you're now moving and being drawn towards something. Oh, this is fine. Actually, I'm kind of excited. I've never been to a pleasure dome before. No, I can't say I have either. Right. So you gotta look on the bright side of life. 
Um, Heather, if you would like to check any of the ship's sensors. Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, uh, roll me some perception and computers. Uh, let's say... Doo -doo -doo. Let's say difficulty f uh, four, because I'm giving you mechanical aptitude because it is to do with the ship, technically. Mm -hmm. You're just accessing it through the computer. Okay. Is it difficulty four? Yes. Oh, I don't have a specialization on either of those. Damn, okay. So that's only six successes because I couldn't reroll the 10. That's fair. That's enough. Um, basically, it, the way you look at it through the uh, the sensors, you realize ew, it's a tractor beam, basically, and you're just being drawn in. Um, you do realize that it is the giant energy signature that you had had read in space that had been moving towards you. Oh, huh. hmm. that's neat. Um, and. Uh, and yeah, it's just, it's pulling you in, um, but there don't seem to be any, like, there's no weapons, there doesn't seem to be anything da inherently dangerous about what they're doing, or what she's doing. Um, and it's just being drawn into, as you kind of get closer, the, the sensors will pick up that there's like an opening, like you'd be pulling into a larger ship. Yeah, so I think while this is happening, and she's looking at it, she's also recording it so that she can analyze it later and kind of break down what it was they were doing for her own uses later. Nice. Excellent. Um, but yeah, it, you get pulled in, um, and it basically, uh, once, once the ship settles and, uh, after I describe this, I'll let you do whatever you want to do. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to be, get pulled in there. So you can like put up effects if you want, or, you know, run around, grab stuff, whatever you want in that time. But you get pulled in and the ship you're in settles down and it feels like it settles in gravity, but gently. So, uh, and then once they, they close the, um, the door to the outside, um, the sensors are picking up that oxygen, uh, flows in and, um, like the right, the right mixture for being able to breathe and survive outside of the ship. Um, there's gravity in here, all of these, these good, I want to say earth-like, um, Senses are coming in online, or things are coming in. Coming in. The the atmosphere um, is very similar to Earth. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My uh, right. Star Trek and you know <laughs> sensors are reading. Right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you are able to get out of the ship if you want. But if you want to do anything in that 10, 15 minutes, let me know. Yeah, uh -huh. I think Tegan definitely wants, and I. I'm just pulling up the nine spheres here because um, I don't know if I can do this until fourth is with other people. Um, but basically, Tegan wants to be able to create a almost like quick save point for the ship that if anything happens, she can just on the ship. Um, Oh, open gateway between locations is four. Okay, okay, okay. That's for thing. Hmm. Hmm. All right. But yeah, basically, all right, all right, all right, all right. Helps if I'm off mute too. Um, ha -ha. If you, yeah, if you want to do some sort of like uh, quick save point, you'd either have to include time for the effect to, like, go off later, or entropy to go off at a certain point, but if you wanted okay. to just, 
give yourself a connection, like a better yeah. connection to the ship to make it easier to just snap back. Mm-hmm. Um, you could definitely do that with the level of, of that data that you I have. have. Okay, sure. Yeah, Tegan would like to do that then. She's just going to cool. try and... Yeah. Um, basically, uh, da -da. yeah, just roll your enlightenment and um, we'll give, like, if you get however many successes you get, we'll just reduce the, the difficulty of, of trying to do it later kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, what is my difficulty? Um, for this, let's say four. Okay, that's going to be three successes then. Cool, then you'll be at a minus three difficulty um, up cool. to a minimum of three. Um, because yeah. it'll depend what, what you're doing later, but yeah. um, you have a, a much stronger connection to the ship than just like your stuff or yeah the paradox effect that you can't control so <laughs> yep um you are cool. you are linked in as they say linked in i'm in yeah you're in cool cool um All yeah. right, so that's probably what tegan's doing in the 15 minutes is she's building that connection cool anyone else mm-hmm I need a tie. I feel like I should, but I don't know what Heather would do. Other than, like, actively just, like, recording things and... Oh, oh, I know what. If, um... Can... I think she's gonna ask Kibo to... Hmm, either stay on the ship, or come hang out on the tablet, and she'll take Kibo along on an adventure Not okay sure which, which one would be more entertaining more <laughs> useful because on one hand maybe i can get the cat into whatever the pleasure dome systems are yeah yeah we're gonna do that yeah. okay okay cool yeah kibo's up for an adventure okay. yay <laughs> prances around on your screen like yay <laughs> um yeah nolan doing anything besides getting a tie um he's gonna go back to to his room check like change into some non-bloody clothes um but he's running pretty low on them right now because it was supposed to be like a weekend trip and he's lost a jacket and like two ties now because one of them's covered in blood and oil and coffee <laughs> How many ties did he pack for this weekend? Well, it was a week, originally. Okay, so... What else does he have? <laughs> well, you're looking through that. Uh, Sophia, anything you're doing? Um, I think she's going to work on trying to get herself some more like healing and actually since we're going to somewhere that's an aesthetics ground mm -hmm. she's gonna try and like I don't know come up with some way to resist drugs etc yeah absolutely um yeah if you want to take all of that time um I'd let you get uh like three different effects uh, and then you can roll to see how much you get of each one kind of thing sure. if you want yeah um, doo -doo -doo. let's see I can't remember what I made you roll last time it might have just been enlightenment but no I can't remember what I rolled either now, but I feel like it had something to do with probably my int. Mm, yeah. And either like medicine or technology or, or science or medicine. Or something. Yeah, okay. Roll roll int and, and one of one of those um however you're looking at it and 
Let's do medicine. Because I'm cool. injectable to counteract something. Yeah. Alright. Um, what was the difficulty? Sorry? Uh, let's go six. Okay, that's three successes. How many, sorry? Three. Three? Nice. Um, yeah, so you can get, like, let's say you get three different uh, type of effects. So if you want, like, a healing effect and a or and a drug, of, like, a anti-drug uh, effect and something else, you can have that. Um, or if you just want uh, more anti-drug stuff, like, if you just want one effect, you can have, like, up to let's say nine of that one thing or you can have three of three different things basically i guess how many of healing slash ag protection did i manage to pull out do you think from the last go because i've um, used an ag and i've used two healing is what we decided i'd had because we didn't yeah. define what i got out of it just i'd gotten yeah. several things out because we had at the time we didn't decide right of course because i really um, didn't know what i was doing <laughs> yeah let's uh so I think you got um, two of each. So you probably have one of the uh, egg the left. egg. One okay. left, yeah. Um, I would like to put effort into. I think. Can I split the effort between the protection from like drugging and healing effect ones instead? I'll save the one egg one for myself. It's not totally cool. I've got that one. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Um, okay. You are prepared against the Pleasure Dome. <laughs> so, uh, splitting the work one and two, or two and two? Yeah. Sounds good? Okay. Yep, that sounds good. Excellent. Sweet. Has Nolan figured out his tie? <laughs> if I were a mind effect, would I be polka dots or stripes? Polka dots. They're more yeah, dots. for mine. And with the stripes are also here, good though because you get the sensation of them moving, like one of those swirly things. Yeah, but I'm just like from here, the dots are throwing me off more. Yeah, the, the dots video. are looking weird on the video. It's it's definitely throwing me off. It's great. <laughs> it's a surprisingly long tie too. Like I guess I got an extra an extra long because I have a long torso. Nice. So we'll see. <laughs> I guess I never thought about that for guys, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. Their ties kind yeah, of different lengths. If your tie's too short, you look like an idiot. <laughs> you want your tie Unless... to, to to point at your belt buckle. Or unless you are a small dog or cat with a little tiny short tie. Well, yeah. Well, Jen, <laughs> obviously, adorable. that doesn't need to be stated. I'm not a little tiny dog. But what? yeah, obviously. I mean, Wait, no what? This is a tiny dog what? energy with the floppy hair. <laughs> you did throw a squeaky toy at the hit mark. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. But he didn't fetch it, so that means he's not the dog. He's more of the cat then. Hmm. They're throwing yeah. things to distract. It's true. All right, so Nolan's gonna tie his tie, and I'm, I guess, I guess a Windsor today. Uh, and uh, okay, Windsor not very good for mind effects. Um, and uh, okay, uh, he is going to try to put up a mind shield. Uh, uh, let's go for five successes, mind shield, uh, okay. and uh, just, just, just smooth it oh. out. Uh, so that's three successes on the first roll. Nice. Okay. So continuing at uh, difficulty of six. Ah, oh, wait, I rolled way too many dice. Let me reroll. I rolled four dice instead of, because I rolled a 10 on the mm. first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that one's cocked. Yep. All right, one more success, so four. Okay, cool. 
you have that, which is great. Um, probably, probably a smart idea. So he's going to adjust uh, that and look for another jacket, but I don't think he has any more jackets because he's down two now. Yeah. And he's going to, like, take a moment, like, open his suitcase, feel around, like, look through it, like, and then kind of just pat it for a second. Does he notice anything? Does he, does he notice the thing? Yeah. Yeah. He notices the thing. No. Oh. Yeah, the liner. Uh, and he's going to unzip, like, the lining on the inside and just flip the flap, look into his suitcase, and then re-zip it and shut the suitcase and lock it. Okay. The jacket, it's business casual. The Pleasure Dome is always business casual. <laughs> <laughs> we got a haircut first, but hey, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Um, I have a very important question to ask. Is anyone doing anything with the hit mark's body? Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Once people are sorted out, I think Heather wants to move it, but if it's really heavy, she's going to temporarily disable gravity again and to float it along. I mean, that's the wise way to do it. Yeah. But as she people may or, are, are may or may prepping. not let people know that she's doing that. Oh, so depending on the timing, it might just be a brief blip of like, yeah. So yeah, how focused she is on, on moving him. I If there's time, and I forgot that Tegan totally would want to check out the hit mark as well, being as that's mm -hmm. what she used to be working on. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, if there's time permitting, Tegan would also love to just okay. check if Tegan on the hit is mark. there, then Heather will remember, oh yeah, maybe I should notify people I'm doing this. And we'll then cool. make an yeah. announcement saying gravity being oh. disabled in T minus five seconds, basically. Yeah. To give people some warning. Sounds good. Uh yeah, you can you can handle that no problem at this point. Cool. Um, um Tegan you're taking a look. Um, roll me, uh, what, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, I think she's looking for any sort of, if she can try and, like, access its, basically its, its memory banks to try and see who gave gave the orders um to try and work her way back seeing who might have sent okay. a hand mark after them okay cool um give me a perception and either technology or hypertech role okay i will do that perception yeah. potentially science what's your science specialty i have computer engineering for science Actually, let's go science, computer engineering. Cap, okay, sounds great. That is... That's what I thought you had, so yeah. Yeah. That works better. What is my difficulty? Um, six, and that's with your... Uh, com like, I know you're not yeah. using computer aptitude, but because it's computer engineering, yeah. so it's with your aptitude anyway. Oh, that is so nice. Uh, that's going to be six successes. <laughs> Excellent. Um... You don't have a lot of time working with mm -hmm. with this guy, but there are two things that you figure out before you reach um, before the ship reaches the dock. One is that uh, you remember uh, from some of your your studies with with hit marks is the mm -hmm. fact that it it has. Um, premium woven into it for counter magic hmm. and you think you might be able to harvest it off of him if Ooh. it will take a lot of work and a lot of time but it's possible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Lovely. yeah the second thing you know is that when Sophia hit him in the head um, mm -hmm. it triggered his self-destruct now 
in the new versions that isn't a like explosion self-destruct it's mm -hmm. just a melting mm -hmm. of circuitry and um and stuff like that so that yeah information can't be information exactly can't be what taken. she wanted yeah that exactly what t is trying to do mm -hmm. but having it and knowing what you know about hit marks um if you have time later to just work on it it's possible yeah. um and i'm gonna say out of character maybe with data um like looking into into things you might be able to get mm -hmm. some kind of version from it yeah um but that's what you get in the time you have okay she'll turn to heather and be like so i can't do anything right now but if i have time i can maybe your help if you're good with computers and machines I think I can A, this thing has Permium, which is very useful for counter magic. And also it the new EA marks have a very subtle self-destruct. And so when Sophia hit him in the head, it fried its circuits. But I might again with time, I might be able to extract information. So uh well, let's put this guy somewhere nice and secure and uh i was gonna see a kid in that closet that works i think she's yeah. probably taking it like into the area close to where the um the, the... my brain's saying relic but it's the the wonder wonder yeah wonder probably device, like but yeah yeah <laughs> uh device wondrous item mm -hmm. and is going to try and like just find like a uh a, like a closet, a cubby, something near that area just to secure it in, yeah. leave it locked away until her yeah. future use. And she, I think she's going along the lines of like, oh, it would be so handy if we had a morgue here just for bodies. <laughs> and no and, and to... then you remember that you do have a room that's full of bodies. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep the there's nice a closet thing. full of bodies. <laughs> yeah, but it's what not we... a closet to store them nicely like a morgue. They're all just lumped together. They're not organized. Mm, mm hmm. But apparently, submarines and spaceships do not usually come equipped with a morgue. I don't think they generally expect to have. The goal is not to have many casualties on board. Well, well we have an infirmary and not a morgue, but I see your point. You might have deep freeze in the infirmary area for any sensitive medications, though. We should look into that later. Yeah, we should. But yeah, you you managed to find a, a spot to put them, to stash them. Um, and Sophia, while you're in the infirmary, um, you're working away, and I'm not going to say you have to do anything about it, but Mateo is still there on the ground just kind of dissociating and silently crying and you're just kind of working around him she'll reach down at some point kind of in between something's bubbling away and like has to sit for a little bit and she'll kind of look at him reach down drag him over her shoulders into a fireman carry and go plop him on an infirmary bed in the corner cool kind of poke at him a little bit mm-hmm uh, give you know me what? a. You probably need some sleep. <laughs> yeah. Give me a perception and awareness roll. Sure. Uh, difficulty of. Let's say six for this. And that's a lot of nines. Um, Ooh. Four successes. Okay. Um, trying to. F figure out how to describe this to a technocrat. <laughs> uh, as you're moving him and and you kind of poke at him a little bit, you get this feeling of wanting to use some of your scanning tools on him, like something feels wrong and you're really not sure what it is, but maybe your scanners could tell you. Alright. She'll set that tech up to 
to work and she'll kind of flip cool. back and forth between that and what else she's doing. Yeah. Um, do, do, do. Which, uh, which scans would you like to do? Well, if it feels a bit odd, should probably do a general, like, body scan to see, is there something like, did, did they inject him with something, mm -hmm. etc. But she also knows they just go in for some weird ass fuckery. So, I don't know, does she have technology to be able to do some <laughs> sort of like mental mind scan type thing, personality stuff? Um, let's see. Like, can what she measure those sort what of are like, your spheres? levels? Cool, go on. Well, data, life, and prime. Cool. Um, you know that as much as you, whether you trust what Dr. Nolan did or not, um, Dr. Nolan did take a look at his mind. So you're like, probably that. You can take, you can check like his hormone levels and stuff. You did do a life scan. Um, just a general wellness scan earlier. Um, you don't think anything's wrong with his data. You think of that and you're like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, you could check out his, like, connection to the Prima Materia. Sure. Yeah. Um, roll me your enlightenment, uh, difficulty of three. Okay. Yeah, I think for this, she probably has enough stuff in the infirmary. Yeah. That is easier to do it in this instance, but she has other ways of doing it out in the field type thing. But this is just yeah. simpler to set up and let it do it the work. Yeah. Yeah. Difficulty of three, huh? Yep. Uh, that is three successes. Nice. Um, you you let the scan run, and you go back to to check your stuff, and you get distracted with what you're doing, and you're like, "Oh, right, I have to go back and check the scan." And you go check the scan, and it didn't beep to say it was done, but it didn't pull up any information. Do you know enough about what you do that, yeah, you did it a little differently this time, but that shouldn't have, like, it shouldn't have failed. The, the scanning equipment shouldn't have failed. And it didn't fail. It just didn't give you any information. That's odd. Can I do it the usual way? Sorry, what was that? I do it my usual way to see if I notice like what the issue is. You can try doing it your usual way, yeah. You can also give me a um, intelligence and in something uh, enigmas esoterica occult. I'll do esoterica because I have that. Cool. I, I do have a cult involved. That's the better one, but I have esoterica. Esoterica is fine. Yeah. Okay. Difficulty. Uh, eight. successes cool you've seen the scans react like this before but only only when you've had to work with um, extraordinary citizens and not technocrats you don't think Mateo has a genius is what you tend to call it that sort of science scientific spark
She's gonna try and get Molly back in her. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. We'll we'll have time for that. And As a then... more experienced member with this sort yep. of thing, potentially. Yep. We'll have a little bit of time for that, and then uh, you will have Doc. So feel mm. free to contact Nolan, either via the communication thing because you still have stuff bubbling. Um, yeah, I think she's going to use the comm system to be like, uh, Nolan, I need a consult. <laughs> mm. Okie dokie. Uh, so he will head down to the infirmary. All right, what can I do you for? Have you have you ever come across something able to take away genius or block it? I mean, yeah, um, block, yes. Um, the union My has is uh, registering as just an extraordinary not not one of us. Well, hold on. Was he a full fledged before? I think so, right? Yeah. Um, when you guys were heading no, to tried. the to the base, um, like the the whole idea was that everybody on the ship was a full fledged technocrat. Okay, well, I mean... Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. I mean, I mean, technically, like, te if, if his mind was severely damaged or his will was severely damaged, that could impose limits. Did you issue when you flip? <laughs> um... I mean, I'm still me, so, uh, no. No, he seemed fine. Um... Because he got... Basically, face that hit mark and is now. Yeah, um, he was kind of in a in a little itty bitty bit of um, hell when I uh, was in his brain checking uh, into things. Um, hmm. Any idea how to? undo something like that? Because I think it's what's causing that. Okay, so... Um, I'm being I, passed out catatonically. <laughs> I have two ideas, and you're not going to like either of them. So, do you want the really bad one? Or the, the... Do you need me to execute them, or will you do it? The ideas, or, or, or Mateo? The ideas. Oh, I mean, like, you'll you'll be mutually culpable, and we might get reprimanded for, for the second one. Well, but I, I think mean, it I has... could just be working while you do your thing. <sighs> Mariana Valador is a very, very powerful um, mage. She's been around for potentially hundreds of years. We could s bring him on board and let him have a little bit of, um... Well, we could try to get his groove back. It, it would be much easier to let them do the heavy lifting to fix him and then re-indoctrinate him or, or, or smooth out the wrinkles they make later. But, I mean, that does violate, like, 16 directives inside of the handbook. I'm pretty sure I didn't read it. But, I, well, you know, I mean, Tegan seems very on board with going here, so... Is it... I'm pretty sure she's a higher rank, right? So if she approves it. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the calm? Bing bong! Uh, Tegan and, and Heather are uh, busy with the body of the hit mark, kind of uh, finding that closet to put it in, but um, uh, you do uh, hear the... This, this is Tegan Warner. Tegan Warner, trying to get a hold of you. This is your doctor speaking. Uh, yes, Doc. 
Do we have permission to bring Mateo on board of the Pleasure Dome for some sexual healing? Over. How old is Mateo? Over. Above the age of consent, over. Okay, fine, that's all I want to know. I've what, been calling him a kid. Of, what is the age of consent in space? <laughs> is it the same? What? I know in some states it's way lower, but I mean... Because then I would go with what's from, like, federally? I mean, I think that it works. If you're old enough to serve, you're old enough to perv. But, I mean... I wish Heather was paying attention because Heather probably knows, like... I will say, Nolan did not take his finger off of the button. So oh, it's okay, because still... you've been like, that's what I didn't know if he was stopping. No, I, I, think that, I think that Nolan wouldn't have. He's, you know, if I'm old enough to serve, old enough to perv. He's in a, okay, he's in a dog. That's fine. Then, okay, cool. I just wanted to make hey, sure. Keegan, I need to pin. get his arm back. It's sticking out still. Oh, well, okay, just get get some. I think I saw some lube or oil Can I cut or it off. Or you need it intact. Um, do you need to do it? I have a mustache working on stuff in the firm right now, looking like she regrets all her choices that led her here. Do you? I think we're all in. Oh, is that Nolan? Yeah, it's Nolan. Uh, What's that one on? might have shape shifting cap capabilities. What my hit mark? Yeah, probably. Why would have that? Why wouldn't Heather it? is like dead. simultaneously like flat tone, but also kind of yelling, which is a weird combination. You just just it's get... dead. Sophia hit its self destruct when she conked him on the head. It was like a lights out majorly. I don't think he's coming. Oh, okay, back cool. From this. Uh, I'm gonna wake Mateo up, and uh, we're we're gonna sure, go get yeah. him fixed. I, I, f fixed by fucking, I guess. I mean, whatever he's into, they, they might just find some ganja or something. What's wrong with him? I hear that human connection can. I'm him afraid that uh, that does violate doctor-patient confidentiality. Um, I feel like this whole trip violates doctor-patient con. Con. Okay. Well, before we do that, I should probably get us. Uh, he's gonna up. turn the lights off <laughs> in the infirmary just real quick. Just boop, boop. You'll hear a roar of rage. <laughs> oh fuck, I pissed off Sophia. Shit. Ha! So, this arm, can I cut it off or not? You you can disarm him. Okay, cool. And there's like, like sounds of like, a saw just like... <laughs> metal on metal. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this will be fine. This, this will yeah. go through most metal. I need his, okay. his brain mostly. There, there is a significant resistance as you're like trying to cut into it. Um, um, he's got so much armor, but yeah, <laughs> uh, you do it. D uh, Sophia, um, can you help me grab a couple of things from storage? Uh, or from 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 the the pharmacy here, if we have them. Yeah. Uh, I need uh, B twelve. Uh, anything with an SSRI component to it, um, any any mood stabilizer, um, Valium would be good, uh, any painkillers, um, and then uh, caffeine, if we have anything, or uh, any type of methamphetamine that we have on stock. Uh, I'm assuming we probably have a little bit of stock of, uh, 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 of either... Uh, uh, Dexamethrazine. Um, uh, probably dexedrin. We probably have some of that on st on, on hand, um, or uh, or cola if we have that. Uh, she'll go back through the stocks and see what she has. Yeah. And there is a surprising amount of things like um, various normally ADHD medications uh, and caffeine pills Tribe and stuff ants. because on yeah. board a ship full of technocrats who probably don't sleep very much yeah. she's not very surprised and, and science is science and this is a pill that'll keep me awake 
right? And keep me focused. I'm pretty sure she's used them on a frequent basis as well. All yeah. right. Oh, do you want in? The science prevents side effects. How exhausted are you? Because I haven't slept in two days. I just slept. Cool. Uh, crush those pills up. I'm going to need them crushed. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. Would you like an injection? No. I've been stabbed twice today. You're welcome. I mean, get yeah, okay. Thank, thank you. But uh, I, I mean, how much time do we have before we're docking? Not very long, but I'm pretty sure I can solution these pretty fast. Directly well, it needs... the bloodstream would probably work faster than snorting them. All right. Um, here's what I'm going to need you to do. Then, what we're going to need to do is, um, we're, we're going to need to diffuse it in that, and he's going to walk through. And uh, I am going to do ability enhancing magic, uh, because we're using that again, and it's going to be an yeah. int and science psychology roll. Cool. Hit me with it. Oh boy. Oh boysy. Um so I get for spending all that time with Krista this weekend. Um one, two, three, four, six, <laughs> two, six. Can I say it's wits? Or you said int and science. I you said int, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh so that's two successes. Oh I have more dice. Yeah, two successes. Cool. Cool, cool. So, all right, so that will lower the difficulty on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are you trained in, in in mind sciences at all, Sophia? Uh, no. All right, well. Um, all right, this is mostly going to be for me then. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, I'm gonna need about 150 cc's of that. Uh, and right. uh, oh, and if my heart stops, fix it. Um, and he's gonna inject it. All right, I'll try not to break your ribs. All right, uh, he's gonna spend a willpower. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, use one of my rotes, um, because I'm out of willpower after I spend this one, so I'm going to yep. regenerate all my willpower. Cool. Do uh, it. So, I'm going for, I'm going for seven successes. Best of luck to you. I'm just shy of half. I'm just shy of half on this. Shit, I only got three successes on this. Um, da, 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 da. let's see here. Do you have anything that? Um. Yeah. Um. Trying to think of a way to. I know you don't have willpower, so that's the normal one to kind of press your way through this. Mm -hmm. But. Hmm. Can I keep going I... at a higher difficulty Ooh. still, even if it's slightly um, less than half rounded down? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. No, I, I have. I have the logic behind this in my okay. head. So go for All it. Right. Okay, uh, so that's going to be a total of one, two, three, uh, four successes. Okay. Cool. Uh, which will be two points of willpower back for the scene. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll count the scene as once you've boarded. So um, that will be the start of the scene okay. rather than... Um, rather than like right now, so you don't get fucked over from that. Okay, those and those vanish at the end of the scene, whether I spend them or not. Yeah. Just so you know. So. Cool. I will make a note of that. Thank you. 
Uh, okay, I feel a little better. That probably wasn't worth it. Um, yeah. And as you kind of do that, you feel the uh, the ship settle into into dock. Okay. And and Heather, you get the notification that the the atmosphere around the ship is becoming uh, you know tenable to humans. Um, because there's no there's no like connection to like your door, so you're gonna have to open it and hope that somebody brought stairs or something. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. There's an emergency ladder if you need it, but... Hmm. And I think Heather's gonna head towards the, uh, the entrance, and if everyone's there already, we'll just be like, okay, where are we going? Yeah. Um, you do open the door eventually. I'm assuming that's where we're going with this. Some, somebody's going to open that door. Yep. yep, someone opens the door. Cool. Um, they have rolled like those airplane stairs kind of up, up to the door. There are a couple of people just hanging out and, and moving stuff around seem to be, seem to be working. Um, but they kind of just look at you and go like we're, we're here to help kind of attitude <laughs> you mind rolling that up so we don't have to jump so you can almost say they'll, they'll push it up and, and go um, if you go through those doors over there and you can see like it looks like a, a shipyard dry dock type thing um, where there's just there's people moving around and uh, doing work on other things from the looks of it. Um, the couple helping you with the stairs and then there's just a big set of of doors uh, at one end of of the room and there's a giant blast door that goes to space on the other. <laughs> so mm. they point towards so the door? small <laughs> they point towards the smaller doors and go if you go through there, um, Mariana will greet you in the in the main hall. Thank you. Um, Tegan will head down the stairs. Um, and a note um, for her. So she doesn't have any weapons except her finger guns. And her finger guns are a um, perception and technology roll with requiring four successes for people to tell that she they're out of place on her. So. If, they just look like normal rings until unless someone's actually yeah. really looking. Cool. Um, so that she's unarmed. Fantastic. Uh, are you are you fire firemen's carrying Mateo into, <laughs> along with or uh, is Sophia just going? Who's the who's the strongest? I think Sophia. We well, I guess we might. We could all be carrying him together. I don't know. Like, or one person has. All right, I'll grab an arm. You grab an arm. Mm. Oh, dude, you're really, really getting heavy. Uh, I can help carry instead if that's. All right, grab his hair. I mean, uh, feet. Who? That makes Are sense. Are we trying to carry the tail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She'll just reach and fireman carry him. Whoa! Oh, that's much lighter. Yep. Um, and you all head head down, head down the stairs. Um, they point you towards the doors, and as you walk through, um, and Kelly, if you'll switch to that last background. I, I have. You yeah. walk through into this, um this large hall that looks kind of like a cathedral or maybe um, 
like an Islamic um, kind of, but it's it's that it's that grandness, that grandioseness of this hall, um, and that's the majority of this this section. But you can see off; uh, it's a huge room, and there are uh, there are doors that lead to who knows where leading off of this space. There are Grecian columns around this this pool that you see. Um, and then your eyes focus a little bit and you realize that there are people just spread out everywhere in here. And, and not all of them are... are engaged in any sort of carnal behavior. Some of them are just lounging. But, you know, there are people making out on, uh, like, a pair of steps over there. There's a couple of people who seem to be just chatting, but they seem really spacey over in another area. And just people seem to be generally having a good time. And this young, young woman, looking woman, a little young for her voice over over your your speaker, um, and and when she speaks, it seems a little out of place. But she looks fairly young, probably in her you know late twenties or early thirties. Mediterranean look, uh, long black hair, maybe maybe Italian or Greek herself. You're not really sure. And you hear the the music being pumped in, and it feels like it's like a nightclub or some sort of lounge it's just it feels nice weird and out of place but like it's supposed to be a good place and the woman approaches you and she holds out her hand she looks at at each of you and she holds out her hand to nolan and goes I'm Mariana of Balador. It's a pleasure to meet you all. And I'm going to call game there. <laughs> nice. I will say, Hi. I think Hi. Sophia is trying her hardest to be like, yes, this is my fitting in face. I am not horrified to be surrounded by reality deviants. <laughs> Science. Uh, yeah. I know There's exactly what scene. Group, isn't it? There, there's a scene from a movie that this is reminding me of, and I don't know if I'm allowed to mention that movie for later YouTube, uh, but it's mm, the name okay. of a certain Roman emperor. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Peter O'Toole, Maybe. I believe, is in that movie. Uh, but uh, mm. it is very, very graphic, and that's what I'm picturing in my head. <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I had... It, initially intended to go a little further tonight but this was way too much fun to watch you guys interact so um i just kind of let it let it go and and the fight took a little longer because i kept rolling such great soak dice but that's fine um in in that case don't worry later, we'll getting soaked later Ayo. <laughs> yeah absolutely that's um, but yeah, that is it for this evening. Um, and I hope you all had a great time, uh, despite the fact that combat took a little longer than usual. No, uh, it was great. Thanks. Yeah. It, it was fun. fun. Yeah. Honestly, if Tegan hadn't botched, it might have gone a lot faster. <laughs> but Tegan was out for a little bit. <laughs> she had to I was, deal with some stuff. I was I was in the computer. Yeah. That was good. I think it helped slowly define a little bit more of how Sophia works for me yeah. so that Thanks. yeah that was good that was helpful to me how good much, i'm glad how much xp do we get i am going to give you uh three xp this time i have 24 xp i have 18 i am five away yeah Ooh. from data four fantastic hmm. um but yeah, tune in next time for that content warning to come into effect. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> I should buy like every skill, just tons of it. 
<laughs> yeah, do it. Absolutely. I mean, you should, yeah. you should uh, buy up your stamina for this next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of Nolan having basic physical stats. I really like the twos. I don't like yeah. it. That is yeah. that is Tegan's social. She is twos across the board for her social, which is just perfect. See, I, I like the idea of, of Tegan being like, I need more stamina and just like... <laughs> yep. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. I... I there, I put together a playlist of music we could actually play on stream. Right, it's good. I like it. Some Look, of it Sasha, has Sasha and Ed actually have some good stuff. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Hey, good. folks, thanks for tuning in. It has been a pleasure and an honor. Um, a big thank you to our patrons on patreon.com slash darktales who get to see this episode three months in advance so they're seeing this in june right now uh and a big shout out to our biggest patrons our best patrons our strongest and most handsome patrons uh that would be uh my mommy uh jan for <laughs> being a divine producer uh for precarious for being a demonic producer for Tammy the Forever Cleric, and the Ink Goblin for being our Wizards of the Patreon, and uh, then of course the High Council of the Patron of the Patreon, which includes Terran, the Traveler, Buddy, Trazelta, Amberthist, Cubby Gummy, Raven with Bobbles, Karasha Urquhart, Sergio, Chef Aladeth, Larouk, Sorcerer Sanguine, and Mike Baxter. You're all amazing. Thanks for the so long, and thanks for all the fish, and for the support, and the live. We'll be back soon. Oh, don't forget, uh, Strixhaven is on Tuesday this week. We moved to Tuesdays, and it is a very special episode of Strixhaven. Very special, you say? In that it's a mm -hmm. game of Pathfinder. Yep. As our characters playing way... Pathfinder. I haven't chosen a class. I hope uh, Way builds me that. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, let me know. <laughs> all right. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you all here tonight. <laughs> and uh, good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Let's go get pleasure domed. <laughs>